guys, why don't I jump into the recording studio? Thank you, yeah, Craig. Good idea, recording. Recording monitor open. I Full disclosure, I'm farming treasure. So am right. I. Yeah. I'm, yeah, me too. Uh, see, the, see, this is what annoys me the most. All your, all your ha can just not focus. And farm treasure map, and I'm sitting here like, fuck, man, I gotta do my job. <laughs> it's not like you were gonna, putting on auto like you were gonna play hard, so no, you can just auto half of this treasure map anyway. Yeah, fuck I you. I, can't. I got rank one before any of your dumb ass did anyway. Oh, <laughs> Excuse you, me, look at this man flex, <laughs> bro. I let me, hey, uh, raise your hand if you have uh, Stampede Luffy. Yep. Oh, yep. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, <laughs> this is, bro. Does it sound a little bit better? Yeah, it actually, yes, it actually does. Surprisingly enough. <laughs> All right, let me move my whole station over there. Yeah, good man. Like, yeah, decided to jump in the recording studio out out the back. <laughs> this man <laughs> haven't, haven't tried it before. <laughs> this man in the booth. He's in the booth. Actually, let me see if there's any microphone. microphone. My... <laughs> Dribble's talking out of his like laptop mic real quick. He's like, let me plug it in. No, <laughs> let, let, let me plug channels. in that blue Yeti real quick. <laughs> okay, <laughs> blue Yeti boys. Okay, I do have a few questions here. Oh, thank God. Someone's prepared. Well, it's not many, but... Fuck. Hey, I have... I, 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 have I put some questions in the question thing. All right, so here... All right, Job is crumbling his snacks up. Yeah, <laughs> really look, I'm, look, I'm in the freaking, like, uh, kitchen closet, so I have to find a place to plug in. Right, you actually sound you actually sound <laughs> half decent, yeah. Okay, let me... So let me chilling chill in the pantry. <laughs> I was going to say, chill in the fridge. <laughs> <laughs> I need to find an electrical outlet. Give me a second. Oh <laughs> my god! I'm looking for ratatouille. <laughs> this man is ratatouille, bro. <laughs> my dog is like getting really, in my, really in the way. So how about you sleep on the table, and I will sit right here so you can't fall. No, now you're on the table. You're exploring. No, 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 no. Oh god, it's me. One of those. Just put it inside the computer case. Like she's nice and warm. Like uh, <laughs> cozy. I see, like. Oh, a little under a week, and um, cozy. She just needs to go to sleep. Okay, if I leave my arm here, will you go to sleep? Nope. No. Fuck. Either sleep or you're on the floor. <laughs> sleep on the floor, dog. <laughs> dog. Sounds like sounds like Jova, man. Go to sleep, dog. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Oh god. Okay. Who thought that this collab was ever going to happen, man? That's what I'm trying to say. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> All right, let's... Uh, no more Uzumaki Khan. Yeah, no more soundboard unless requested <laughs> otherwise. This guy's a database assistant manager thing. Hey. Man. This guy... This guy is that's database management and admin assistant. Thank you very much. Sorry, my bad. Man, no, that's all right. It's all right. Man, 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 you database? <laughs> yeah, what, are you working with Solaris now or some shit? <laughs> Come on, <laughs> they got me on the OPTC database. Is she crazy? Bro, Solaris doesn't know what the fuck he's doing, bro. He just starts, pro he just he just copy paste and fills in the <laughs> fills in the blanks. Bro. That's about it, man. All right, is Joba almost ready? Joba, come on. There's like there's been maybe like a seven or eight points where I could have started the episode. <laughs> yeah, still muted. Joba snoozing. Have we got caught in the pantry? <laughs> <laughs> His mom's like, what the he fuck locked, are you doing again he, in the pantry? He locked himself in the pantry. <laughs> he locked himself in the pantry. Trevor, what have I told you about locking yourself in the pantry? <laughs> he oh, doubled me. Oh, no, no, his audio's not working, man. Cora was licking my mic. Yeah, that's what I can hear it. <laughs> Come on, man, man. <laughs> Bro, see, we could have started yeah. it right there, but now he's deafened and he's muted. For fuck's sake, Trevor. Fucking Trevor. I'm about to kick him. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. He, he unmuted when I said I'm about oh, to kick you him. Should, you, should, you should see the setup of it. Like, it just sound, it sounds worse. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, I give up, man. People, you're, you're just going to have to put out an apology tweet that you sound like absolute <laughs> asshole. <laughs> <laughs> the YouTube that's... comments are like, who the fuck was that? <laughs> he sounds like an idiot. <laughs> oh, well, speaking of idiots, man, what's going on, guys? Welcome back to another episode of Good Great Perfect. But it isn't really an episode as it might normally be. We don't know how we're going to upload this or what orientation we're going to do it in. But it is a very special episode because we do have Joba on the podcast. What's going on, Joba? <laughs> hey, what's up, guys? Joba's here. Shout Come out to on, that Got my man Toads here. What's going on, my man? Yo, what is good? My man Dilba, what's popping with it? What's going on, man? 
And Cobb, what is up, my guy? Yo. But I know you're all not here for all of us, nor myself. If you clicked on this video, you're here to listen to an exclusive GGP interview with the one, the only, the greatest global OPTC player of all time, Leilu. What's going on, man? He's retired, though, but he's no one can touch that legacy. What's going on, Lay? Yo, what's going on, my broskies? Oh, oh my hey, God. Hey, hey, Let's hey, go. Hey, he's, <laughs> hey. He's got a bunch of those guys. <laughs> for real, though, man. Um, for people that don't know who Lay is, you just look at any TM ranking in the last <laughs> year and a half. You a rock you You'll see him there a few times. He's been, he's been in the top flight, if not first, at least the majority of the time. But for people that don't know who you are, Lay, give us a quick rundown who you are. Um... I'm currently 28, I'm working for a telecommunication company and have a lot of free time, <laughs> especially now after quitting One Piece. <laughs> Even before um, quitting One Piece, he had a lot of free yeah. time, hence why he came first a lot. But Especially at work. <laughs> yes, that's true, that's true. Um, Freaking madman. It's indeed. I think I'll, I'll be the one to say, like, I've been so excited to record this. <laughs> He I've really been, has. I've I mean, been hasn't stopped so, so excited. I've been harassing these poor boys <laughs> forever. <laughs> and we finally lined it up and it worked out. But um, I'm excited to get this done. I think we'll see what happens in terms of how we're going to upload this. That doesn't matter. But we have we have a quick breakdown of what we're going to talk about. I think we'll get a bit into uh, why Lay started playing OPTC and all that kind of stuff. But we want to talk about a few particular topics. We're going to talk about TM. That's in terms of how Lay played TM. Obviously, Lay being maybe the most coveted uh, treasure map player on Global's history, the most first places, just the most <laughs> the most slaughter out of every player. He was he was a menace. Um, I think also it would be quite interesting if we got into a bit of team building. How you like thought about making teams? What came to mind was it animation speed, that kind of stuff. Um, and we've been teasing this conversation for maybe like seven eps. But I think Since it's episode like two. Yeah, but I think <laughs> it's finally time that we talk about modders and cheap gems. I think it's finally, I think it's finally time we really get into that topic and really give our honest opinions and thoughts and and uh, break that topic down. Oh, that's going to be like a very touchy subject for a lot of people, and I apologize, Todd, but it's going to be. <laughs> I think it's going to be. Um, maybe Todd should have sat this episode out. <laughs> hey, true. Maybe but protect his image, man. You know what I'm saying? But um, I think it's going to be a very good discussion topic, and it. It does need uh, conversing over, and I think this is the right time to do it. With Lay, um, you know, he did beat people that modded and cheated, so, you know, it's it's time to talk about it's, that kind of stuff. <laughs> it's impressive. That's what it, it is. It is, for sure. And I actually want to get, like, just his honest idea of OBTC. Like, other than the fact that he has quit, he has retired, you know, there's still a lot of opinions and thoughts I know that he has about the game, so we'll get into that too. Um, then we'll open it up to the to the cast, to the crew. If you all have questions that you've ever prepared or anything just comes to mind, feel free to ask them whenever. We'll generate some discussion. And then, excuse me, we have a few uh, uh, questions from a lot of the viewers and a few members of our respective Discord communities as well. But without further ado, Lay, how'd you find OPGC? Where did it all start? Give us the backstory, my man. Give us the origin story. Yeah. <laughs> um, I think I saw an ad <laughs> and tried it out. <laughs> oh, God. The There's a new smartphone like, app. <laughs> like three, yeah, three years ago. Okay. Sitting on the couch with my girlfriend. <laughs> Bored. <Like>, flex. <laughs> and then you get Do you remember the... like, what time period in the game it was? Uh, I, I, I think it was before Marine Fort. Oh wow! The, 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 the um, Admiral the Blitz. The, the, the Blitz? No, no, no. The Blitz. The uh, before the where you can uh, farm cotton candy and stuff. Oh wow! The, the, that stuff that returned with uh, free cotton candy drops later on. Ah, okay. So that's completely like past my mind as an actual like event that does go to show people that are like listening to this lay's brain is huge um <laughs> he's a lot smart i think he has a combined iq higher than all the people in this call right now <laughs> Joba is, that's not Joba, that's not too hard to do by the way Joba's iq yeah, is the negative the <laughs> so we go down a few points but it is <laughs> <laughs> so 
that's how you got started. What possessed you to play like how you play? Like it's not common for someone to pick up a game and, and say then I'm come first every single time. Every single time. Every especially time. especially like the first blitz, you were up there. And that's when I I like might sound rude, but not many people knew who you were, but you were still up there first blitz. Like off I, I think it was um might have been the it might have been the Admiral Blitz. Yeah, the hashtag four hundred. Yeah, you were yeah. up there as well. Oh, that was goaded. Mm-hmm. And that was that was prior to a lot of like names that were thrown out. Like obviously people knew trunks, people knew right at the time, but you were kind of uh even Justin were, was up there at Yeah, times. you were kind of lying like, I think Nom was up there too mm-hmm. back in the era as well. So I mean, a lot of the big names were so you you basically started with all those big names too. But what what possessed you? What made you want to go for first? Like in a, like, we'll just get into TM. Like, what made you want to go for first every time, pretty much? Uh, I like to grind. <laughs> you have to really like to grind. And yeah. I think um, I like to compete. Um, if you uh, listen to me uh, talking about ranking all the time, um, I said, no, 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 no. But uh, the moment uh, the grind got me, I, I'm back. <laughs> Every time I remember that yeah. this guy, this guy used to say to us, he's like, "If I ever, if I ever go for first place again, ban me from the Discord." And oh, then no. immediately the next, immediately the next DM would come first place, and you can't ban him because he came first place. You know, like it's, it's, it was miraculous. Like I think no one's ever come. I think the only person that comes to mind is Coruscant from JP version. Like that's the yeah, only person yeah. that you're even comparable to, and even it's kind, of, it's kind of crazy to me because, like, because I don't know in most most TMs in in a lot of situations, didn't you have like all the legends or pretty much nearly all the legends at that point? Uh, I had everything I need. <laughs> yeah, I don't so know like, when I got all legends, but I had everything I need for this treasure map. Yeah. So did you like did you grind treasure map just for the sake of coming first place, or did you? Did you grind treasure map like for a particular like rewards or like I mean I, I know tablets was a big thing for you as well like rainbowing units but oh yeah that's true was it like mm-hmm. what was what was your like motive to like grind like other than like you love the grind and you like you're you're competitive was there anything else that made you really want to like get mm-hmm. first place uh, I didn't give a shit about a reward <laughs> <laughs> okay <laughs> but that's, that's such a punch in the, th- in the face to absolutely <laughs> everyone that farmed this guy literally farmed TM to come first place he did not care about what he got <laughs> he, he farmed he farmed to well, come first place so no one else could be first because no one else get first place that's what I want to hear I, I don't really think anyone that in, like, goes for top 10 in events does it for the rewards because you get less gems than you get that's you true know. I did it for rewards <laughs> well, uh, tablets, yeah, but the rest, pff. yeah, the rest yeah. is shit. It's true. I mean, you know, 150 gems sounds good, but you pretty much spend that much. No, late. Like, I, I mean, like, you know, my time to stay on the podium. What's up, guys? I came first place. I farmed the most rides. <laughs> oh, yeah. he's, he's never living this yeah. down there. Never, bro. When you, when have you come first place, Todd? Oh, <laughs> probably like in a, in a drawing competition in grade three. Hey, as- <laughs> uh, we all got equal first for the uh, Admiral event, guys. Jeez. Doesn't count. You're you're lost no, in anyway. my mind. No one came That's first. That's nothing okay. to okay. Hey, hey. Of I mean, rice, it's, it's, until Lay was on the podcast, I was still the highest ranking treasure map person in this. <laughs> I mean, okay, technically, I'll, I'll yeah. I wasn't Ray really higher than you. Who was? Oh, yeah, Ray was Ray was higher. Right, was higher. Oh, there you right, go, gotcha. gotcha. Yeah. <laughs> gotcha. Hey, gotcha. still, none of you boys have gotten top ten, so shut up. Hey, but you, did you? <laughs> who, how much? How much rice you farm, though, boy? I'm out here. I'm out here. I'm out here. I'm out here sending rice to Orokobi Village, bro. What are you doing, bro? You selling the high seas of the Wano lands? Come on, cuz. Hey, did any of you guys get second in Blitz? Though? Yeah, who, yeah, oh, you, yeah, lost, um, you, you, you lost. You lost to someone who didn't try. <laughs> That's man, it was fucked up. He had so he had the best drop look. It was it was some bullshit. I'm blaming it on that. Yeah, no, man. How'd you get those care. units though? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, hey, later, 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 later. <laughs> <laughs> no, but in, but in reality, though, like I spent 150 gems farming, right? And we got no gem rewards back. Even if I was to get 150 gems back, it's you still break even. Yeah, and we did the calcs too at uh, last night. And it, yeah, we, we I think like roughly around fifteen hundred runs. Fifteen hundred runs I did for the rice. Ah, <laughs> oh, yeah. You know what I mean? Like, and that was like that was we did we just like we put that down. We we averaged like eighty points per run, and that was eighteen seventy five runs just to to do it. You know, and that's like that was like one standard thing with with treasure map. 
you have the downtime of, you know, like moving to the bosses and you have four mini bosses, then you have the boss and you have the invasion. So it's a lot more on your mind rather than me mindlessly tapping one, ex- the exact same team over and over again. <coughs> yeah. So like, what, I like, I, st- I still don't get it. Like, why the fuck did you want to come first all the time? Like, did you just want to prove a point? <laughs> was it like, was it to prove a point to someone? Was it like, you can. <laughs> was it just to show yeah. that you could if you wanted to? Yeah. Of <laughs> course I can. <laughs> See, because I, I, I recall plenty of times you didn't farm, you like you started farming later than everyone else and you still like, you were like 200 million points ahead of everyone after like, you know, like a bit. Like it's it's ridiculous. Like for people that don't, <laughs> Lay was a guy who was always in first place. Like if, just put it out there. Like if you ever looked at a TM, you knew top three, Lay was first, a and mod, I mean, A and O was second, and um, <laughs> and then X, X person was in third. It didn't hey, really don't matter. Don't forget my boy Joy Boy. Come on now, bro. OG, oh, that's Boruto's <laughs> era, bro. We gotta get Boruto on the phone. Oh, <laughs> An interview with Boruto, bro. Back then, that was his era, man. But um, but yeah, like, so like, did you? So what? How did you find TM as like, in, like, just like in comparison to like other ranking events or like other games in terms of ranking? Like, did you enjoy TM? Or like, what do you think about it? Like, what are your overall thoughts about Treasure Map? Oof. I, I like it, but um, the, the habit that you just plug in the latest legend in the batch and don't have to change anything is kind of boring. Yeah. When I mean, you have to change your team and to um, uh, meet the damage threshold or something, uh, it's, it adds some uh, depth to it, uh, but yeah. Yeah, Lately, like, it's just uh, use the highest boosted team and go through level 300 or whatever. Yeah, mm. exactly. And the thing is, like now, now it's very much that it's pull the latest legend and, and the batch as well as the boosters and the treasure maps to go. Like whereas the earlier treasure maps, like for uh, N L one is firmly imprinted in my mind is because it was Shiki was the latest legend and the content was m- supposed to be built for him, and uh, he stopped working after nav level 30. So mm. it's like. I had you had to compromise with like other le- other the funny thing is you had to go um, pull the other legends that were boosted, but yeah they weren't as high boosted as the things. They had to sacrifice points to actually be able to clear it, which is kind of a pain in the ass. Mm. So does that mean like so like I'm I'm gonna like assume that when it came to like treasure map team building, you weren't going with the generic like teams and stuff that everyone else would be using. Like, you had your own like your own conjured teams or were you just going with whatever the highest point boosted teams were um for invasion or end boss highest team and the others usually just by uh, speed. speedy teams yeah, yeah. So as fast as you could go pretty much was yeah the... those those mini boss fights before the final boss oh they suck so much yeah, I hate and, them. And yeah. that's and that's basically what lay helped me with um when i was going for top 10 i was like oh is there any way i could make this better he goes um as long as your teams are basically killing them as fast as you possibly can and you've got the highest point boosters on the on for the final boss t- teams you you're golden and like you'll eventually start to catch up so it comes down to speed like <clears throat> i think tm is 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 more of like an endurance event rather than something like Blitz, where I feel Blitz is just efficiency. Like, do you, do you agree or disagree with that? Like, do you think TM requires a lot more efficiency, or like, what do you think? Uh, TM is uh, endurance, and Blitz <laughs> is uh, eff- efficiency. Uh, yeah, it's like, uh, a thousand times the same thing. thing. Yeah. In comparison to TM, is just like. You need to maintain a you need to maintain a pace like a speed yeah exactly. for a long period of time. Whereas like you know Blitz definitely does come off as like just go as fast as you possibly can for as long as you possibly can. That's yeah. how I felt like when that that last night when I when I I crossed to first and I was like all right like I just need to I just need to get a double carrot team. <laughs> like I I had a carrot team that was like sixty one seconds or sixty two seconds or whatever it was, and I just said I need to go like for three hours straight. And just put up a lead as much as I could, just so I could coast back, and then um and then start autoing while I was like you know doing schoolwork or whatever. But mm. then, so like it definitely does come down to that point of like how hard and how fast you can go and blitz. But I think with TM though, in particular for you, like do, what do you think about like the whole idea of you know point boosters and um that kind of sense? Like do do you like the idea of like having these structured sugo fests where 
you would you'd pull for boosters and use them or like what would do you think that was an idea that you could change tm to make it better did you ever have any thoughts about that um, um to be honest i don't like the booster thingy because um the playing field is not uh, the same for everyone mm. If you are free to play, you barely stand a chance. On the yeah. other hand, uh, the game has to make money. Um, yeah. I like Blitz more than TM for the reason yeah. that. Yeah. Yeah. Like uh, the thing that I hated don't... the most was just the fact that, like, those boosters were only boosted for, like, one map. And like any other map yeah. afterwards, they just they were basically useless. I mean, when they when they when the treasure map was, was first coming into global, it was nice how like the first few treasure maps, like the boosters were slightly going yeah. down. Yeah, like they weren't the highest boosters, but they were still really high boosters. Yeah, it was like a staircase. It was like a staircase. Like they were higher than like the other. Yeah, exactly. Not, not higher than the generic stuff, but they were yeah, one point five as the yeah. new boosters and the new rare recruits. Yeah, exactly right. But as it stands now, yeah. I hate it. That's the reason that I really enjoyed the uh, the Summer Girls uh, Blitz battle because you know since we all or most of us uh, got to abuse the glitch, then everyone was on an even playing field since we all had a bunch of gems to pull for the boosters. And you still lost, but that's besides the point. <laughs> oh <my laughs> Man, I, was up, I was going up against a monster. Come You're on. going up against a god, dude. I was going up against my <laughs> own brain, <laughs> like you know. <laughs> like shout out to Trunks. Shout out to Chunks, man. He probably won't listen. He doesn't like us, except you. Yeah. So he won't listen to this shit. He doesn't because um, like I play Mario Party with him. <laughs> that's true, bro. We, hey, man, slide into Chunks' DMs, bro. Try to get him on the cuff. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I think, I think like with TM now, we look at it and <sighs> kind of it's the same structure, copy paste it all the time. Do you think like TM needs an overhaul? Do you think TM needs like a new coat of paint like what what would you add or change tm to make it like feel new or feel like something a different kind of like to make it more fun or enjoyable well, i don't know really <laughs> that's why i was like i know but i don't know <laughs> it's just hard because you got to think i mean it's a business you know we could say all kinds yeah. of things that they can do but they're they're unlikely to do them because you know they got to make money that's they want us to fall yeah at the yep. end of the day that's the whole point of it I, I still really hate that they added a third booster to have to pull for. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, like I'm really. I hated that the um you had to do seven that. multis instead of five. Yeah. Just, it, it just yeah. adds it, like it adds on slowly but surely. Like it, it gets strenuous, it gets painful. I mean, like I think Japan's still holding out the same way. Heck, Japan's worse. Japan has like f up to fourteen multis to get one to get one of either of the yeah. boosters, which is in itself insane. Like mm -hmm. you're dropping. You're dropping so many, you're dropping like 700 gems, 800 gems just to get three point boosters for a TM. Like, it's ridiculous. It's too much, man. But I want to get into team building a little bit because I know that you, are, for face value, you showed a lot of teams, but I reckon you had a lot of like, a lot of efficient teams that like people had no idea about in terms <laughs> when it came to farming yeah. and stuff. Like, oh, what? Yeah, there there were so many times where I wanted to farm a piece of content. If I wanted to see what could do it the fastest, I would just look up whatever lay scene was on YouTube. And I feel like <laughs> even then he didn't show his all his cards. Yeah. <laughs> but um, it, it, it wasn't always an easy team to make. Too. But you know, if you can make it, then it was probably the fastest and the best. So, like, what did what did you look at when it came to team building? Did you just look at speed alone? Were you someone that like did the crazy thing like Razor and look at like frame data? Did you like mm. how did how nah, did you approach that? Um. I usually uh, looked at speed and no RNG. When I build a team, uh, it has no RNG involved yeah. because uh, consistency. Yeah. Um, I didn't check frames or whatever. This. <laughs> yeah, uh, that's true. Um, I, I I recall when you like did post your retired video. You did give a shout out to Etna. Shout out to Etna if you are listening to this. God bless. You did credit him as like one of the best team builders do you like why why would why do you think that do you think like just because his knowledge of the game or what did you what do you think yeah knowledge and uh, creativity um that what i'm i'm lacking in creativity <laughs> he, he's the creative mastermind behind <laughs> a lot of the teams and stuff because I, I do recall a lot of times when he posts teams like for people to use 
he thinks of like ways to use support like recently in particular yeah. he thinks of ways to use support characters that i've like i could never like, no none yeah. of us could probably ever imagine 100 like, oh, yeah, i used the, an the team one time and it was like i would never thought to use support yeah and then, like i think it was uh, when I, last time i messaged lay um for a treasure map and he's like oh yeah and if you have these support characters it just makes it this much faster i'm like fuck <laughs> <laughs> So I do recall you like you like you like, you messaged me and you've like mentioned like Excel spreadsheets. What what what's what spreadsheets you got, man? Like what 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 stuff have you been <laughs> what stuff have you been tracking in terms of like uh, on, <laughs> on those spreadsheets? I want to get into uh, this. on some uh, treasure maps. I would make screenshots after every map, yeah, hmm. to check uh, first or second fr- uh, in first place. And after a treasure map, I would compile them in. Uh, Excellent and make a diagram. <laughs> oh my god. This man's really uh, out here. <laughs> was, that, was, was, that to, was that to test like other people's like speed? Was that to yeah, test like a point? I tracked growth? Uh, speed from uh, following guys and uh, suspicious people. <laughs> suspicious all right, we'll get into the <laughs> suspicious people soon. But um I don't care. I'm I'm happy to call out whatever. I don't know about Todd though, man. Todd might need to like. Really give a shit, man. Uh, all right, fuck it, man. We're gonna call out whoever we want, bitch. <laughs> but um, so like you like you so you tracked a lot of data. Was it just for TM or did you track other things as well? Uh TM. Most just TM alone. Blitz, I didn't do shit. <laughs> <laughs> so it was just a, so just a matter of like combine. Like this is the extent this man went to, guys. You want to get first? You gotta you gotta get a, like a, a degree in some sort of engineering. Out of the game, bro. He's That's even out of it. He's still, he's still taking screenshots, man. He's, he's still peeping. <laughs> nah, but um, the fact that like it it's be- bewildering because you took screenshots, you compiled numbers, and then you were able to analyze people's speed in comparison to yours, in comparison to whoever they were, whoever they were with. Did that also like make you like able to determine like what kind of teams they were using in terms of like boosters or like points and such as well? Mm, nah. No, right. uh, I still use the same teams uh, um, with the same mindset. So you were just like when when you came to TM, um, and you like the start of TM. You just were you just a person that would just go for it straight away, or did you like have a strategy when it came to actually playing TM? Like, what was your what was your like? Okay, all right, let's let all right, everyone, be in the same mindset as me right now. We're gonna get a bit weird. <laughs> all right, <laughs> take it back. We're all sitting. We're all, we've all got the highest. I'm going to ask everyone this question as well. I'll answer it too. And we'll go one by one. So we'll listen to everyone's mindset. We're all sitting. We all have the highest point boost teams. We're all like, everyone's built the exact same team. There's no, no difference whatsoever in them. We're all sitting day one of TM. What's your mindset going into TM and how do you approach it? All right, we'll start with Cobb. I'm going to give you the least, least time to think about it, man. I'm, I'm, I don't fully understand the question a little bit. I'm just saying, <laughs> how do you, how do you, how, what was, so what's, like, like what, what's my first thing I do when yeah, I jump what, into it? Yeah, what's yeah. your mindset approaching TM or like approaching TM and then beginning? Uh, like, okay, yeah. like, okay, okay, so get, get the team smashed out, obviously. I always ask for help with teams to bounce ideas off of people. I think it's really important. Uh, when you're doing team building to bounce your ideas off of people to get second opinions or maybe someone else has got some secret tech that you want to share. Mm. So I think that part's important. Uh, from a strategy standpoint, I actively target a lot of the little coins floating around on the map uh, in the first couple of stages to try and smash out the mill. Um, oh. And then I'll just hit hit goods and greats until get to the final boss, and then the boosters maybe will work perfects. for you anyway. Yeah, I don't 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 hit no perfects. Oh god, this guy. We All right, Dil. Dil, what about you, man? Okay. Um, I I straight away just if so if, if I've got all the highest point boosters, I make the best team I can to verse the uh, the bosses, and then I I look up what uh, the rest of the the like the mini bosses do in the map. Uh, make the most optimal team for them. Make sure basically the team can is like can defeat it obviously, and and check out the team's long, longevity. So usually I um. Uh, look on uh, what the treasure map planner to see how much like the health scales and stuff like that. Shout out Flash. Yeah, and um, <laughs> and yeah, and then once I do the first run, I see what worked and what didn't work. Um, like for example, the white bid team in this treasure map uh, just stopped working for not not stopped working for me. Just didn't seem very fast. So now I've changed it to a V two cutter team, mm-hmm. a little bit less point booster, but much faster. Mm. And um. Yeah, and I make so, and then there's like stuff like uh, I I make sure to see which boss will give me the most trouble, and um, it'll be 
and f- for this treasure map, it's Jack, so that's why I target him first. Oh. Yep. Oh, Dill died. Dill. Oh. Special. Oh. Uh, never uh, raised that. Here. All right, we got him, we got him, we got him. Yeah, no, so I target Jax because uh, I can take him out in one special, which, um, where, whereas if I use him in the bo- boss battle rush, uh, um, he takes like uh, three okay. specials or so, which can slow, slow, down. slow down a run. And especially when trying to play catch up when you have like work mm. and stuff. And then if I ever get stuck, I yeah, do the same thing as Kyle. I, I uh, message the boys, ask if there's any, what their teams are. And if, if I think they're better than my own, I might um, implement some aspects of those. And back in the day, I'd, if I, if I was still stumped again, I'd message Lay and say, hey man, what do you think of my teams? I think you can message and Lay now. Like, He'll still know more than all of us. <laughs> <laughs> um, he yeah, and, he, and he just give me feedback on my teams and he goes, this yep. is what I'm using. Um, the, the, like you get it. And yeah, just let me know how fast the teams are and, yeah, easy. That's my process. All right, Lay, give us the the champions process. What what <laughs> what did you think? How did you approach TM? What what was your idea? I uh, just sm- smashed the, uh, the content so as fast as possible and to get first. <laughs> there you go. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I mean, <laughs> see, <laughs> but see, like, there's there's like there's a sweetness to that answer in the sense of just like just like Todd said, just don't stop if you can endure going for as long as he possibly can in like one fell swoop like you might as well i don't know how the man does it because like it gets to a point where i start falling asleep (laughs) how did you approach that i'm gonna ask joba joba and stuff first then we'll get into that joba what what about you i I mean no one cares about your one joba but what about you man (laughs) fucking we got an abusive relationship we really do. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm so, glad you finally noticed. <laughs> I'm kind of a bitch when it comes to team building. Right? So I, I have a friend, you know, we all know, you know, shout out to, you know, I don't want to expose the man, but he, he makes teams. If you, you send him, hey, like, these are the units you know, I'm missing. Can you help me with teams? He fucking let mm-hmm. this man make teams for you. you. We all know who I'm talking about. The cookie cutter uh, man himself. Yeah. And, uh, you know, I, I use his teams if I see one of it. And he makes the most, like, a, a point efficient teams. Sometimes they might not be the fastest, but, you know, sometimes I'll make a little bit of rearrangement if it makes my teams a little bit faster. Uh, and then, you know, just depending on how I'm feeling, I don't usually try to grind or, or try to, like, rank high. They usually, like, I'll either go, like, top 1,000, top 100, depending how I feel. If I manage to pull the boosters, then I'll try to go for it. But it's not very often. Um, I am curious, though, since we kind of touched on this a little bit, uh, what do you do, Lay? Like, when you're grinding, what, uh, what kind of things do you, do you listen to something? Do you watch TV, listen to music, podcasts? Uh, what do you do when you're on that grind? Hmm. Lay, Lay definitely yeah. listens to us. That's all yeah. I do. <laughs> <laughs> yes. um, I'm usually um, looking at movies, beneath, or um, I have the habit of walking around a lot. <laughs> Oh really? My phone at end and walk uh, circles or uh, just. Uh, I guess that helps uh, the sleep problem. Yeah, keep yeah. moving at all times. And um, I don't know if you saw that in some of my videos, but I have a timer on my phone, and mm-hmm. for example, on the Ben uh, and Shanks uh, treasure mode. Yeah. Um, I knew when uh, six minutes passed and Kobe didn't die. I I was slacking. Oh my, this, like, oh my god! This man gave himself some discipline. <laughs> oh my god! Man. This man's slacking. You got to get a move on, like Bro, holy if you shit. Are, if you haven't got a timer on your game, <laughs> what the hell are you doing? That's that's next level, dude. What the heck? Yeah, that uh, it, it's really pushing you. You can try it. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, like I I'm good at rank eight k. I'm chilling, <laughs> but like, but like I mean, like it it makes sense. Like in in the grand scheme of things, you know, if you really want to push and you really want to excel, like set yourself some parameters, set like set some restrictions, and you force yourself to go quick. Essentially, that's kind of the mentality. Just go fast, lol. Like don't go complain. Fast. Exactly, bro. Lay Sonic confirmed. We you've, you've, <laughs> you've heard it first. All right, Todd, about you, man. How do you approach you? Load up the stream thirty minutes beforehand. Uh, and Todd um, has to Todd has to do a lot more preparation. Yeah, he has to it's, load the stream. Yeah, up. so it's a little bit difficult for me because obviously interacting with the chat and playing at the same time is it's quite difficult. And like mm. what, when you're talking so much for like two, three, four hours at a time, like it does get very exhausting. So. Like, usually after I finish streaming a treasure map, I'll put my phone on charge and I won't touch it for another few hours and I'll mm-hmm. come back to it. But it, it depending on it really depends on what I'm missing in terms of legends. Because if I'm only missing one legend like I am now, I don't give a shit about mm-hmm. treasure map. 
Um, but if there's like a handful of legends I don't have, I actively want to make sure I'm playing as much as possible to reach top 100, top 500, whatever it is, mm. to get rewards. And, and like, I, I, Luffy. it's not that hard. Yeah, it's, it's not that hard. Yeah, because all you guys are doing it. I did it. Had, it had um, um, but, it <laughs> but what Cubby said was pretty much on the money. It's just like, you know, you hit goods and greats to make sure you can clear a little bit faster. Yeah. Uh, I know sometimes sometimes during the treasure map, I'll build, I'll build teams with like a treasure map NL as the captain, even though he's not like a full booster or anything. Mm. But having him as a captain just speeds through certain bosses. And yeah. um, I always aim for the, the pathway that the intrusion boss breaks open to try and get stamina refills and shit but mm -hmm. that's usually how i play and chuck in the colo kid in there you know mm. he's Chris. boosting this treasure map yeah. Yeah. he's boosting I mean, this yeah, yeah, but, him, but now you got kaido that. so it's, it's all good <laughs> yeah well, what's the replacement for kaido colo kid what's the replacement <laughs> colo kid kaido get it right guys not that hard <laughs> i think the question on a lot of people's lips is how many gems on average would you spend a tm on stamina refills you mean yeah, depending on if I turn in my inner game freak or not. Oh um, no, you just called <laughs> out a poor game freak, man. Uh, usually, uh, like uh, 100, uh, depending on uh, how high uh, I go with enough level. How many points you need to get? Mm. So, you, yeah. so, would you say you, you, you can really... usually count uh, two maps per one gem? So, yeah. would you say you generally profited off TM then? Yeah. yeah. Oh, wow. That's yeah, even, that's really I could though. die sometimes and revive. You heard it here first. Lay like, is like human. <laughs> Lay is he's not a robot. He is human. He does die. It, it's fine. I that's mean, if, you, if you're going to be going to like over nav level 150 and stuff, you're probably going to die at least yeah. once. Yeah. Uh, especially if you um, try to find uh, the threshold where you can't beat the boss anymore. Mm hmm. <laughs> <laughs> because you try to uh, use the highest uh, boost the team, and you and die. <laughs> you, you, you know uh, it getting closer and closer, and sometime uh, there is the break point, and suck, you die. <laughs> <laughs> you die. That's it. Right? Whoops. <laughs> <laughs> I just, to I just want to shout out real quick in our private chat. Joba did use a double croc team against uh, Speed and then and died three times. <laughs> oh man! So he, yeah, so... he just spent three gems on that. I want to make light so, of it. You know, when you it, it's dangerous using hybrid teams because I, I use a, like a croc friend captain and then a Nami captain. So like, I use my own croc just for a little bit extra points. You know, I, I don't want to use double croc because then you know the, the multiplier is a little bit lower. So you have use to double Nami. Get it'd be safe. Yeah, double Nami. It's faster. Yeah, <laughs> yeah but. Yeah, but Nami doesn't have a one. What's that? What's that zero point one five really gonna do in all the grand scheme of things, man? You know the math on that. You can yeah, do that. I think I'm Ab gonna change it because uh, I wasn't paying attention. I just picked up. He died three times. Yeah, like, like that happens. Like, like literally, even that happens. Yeah. Like that. That'll happen. Like that's another way attention. you can die. Is like you're just like not focusing and picking the wrong hybrid teams, and yeah, even with auto, even with auto and, now yeah. as well, you leave auto on too long. Oh man, takes you to your death. So many last TM, I died to that so many times. Like at least Real. four times. Man, you're bad. All right. I think I think I think it's enough TM now. Let's get into the the meat and potatoes of this of our podcast. All right, Lay. No. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> <I'm scared. laughs> All right. I think we start with cheap gems first, and then we'll go into modders afterwards. All right. Um. I think we we have all exclaimed it before at some point we we did all i i, I joba yeah you did joba i use them twice yeah that we all nice. we all did we all were oh, you filthy cheap oh gem. my god, god. god. how dare you know, you. What? <laughs> you know what okay i have you were the I didn't scum of the earth i didn't want to i thought i was above that but then i, I didn't, didn't want to i thought i was above I that He's I saved totally gems for a so long much. time for limited Bonnie, and then I didn't get her in seven multis. So I was like, you know what? Fuck this shit. I'm going to the dark zone. <laughs> and then I got her first multi, first cheap gem multi. Wow. Bro, welcome, <laughs> welcome <laughs> to the cheap gem family. Wow. Dude. It's how it works sometimes, man. But I think, like, I'm just gonna put it out to the. Oh to wait, the... before we get into this conversation, we do have to put it out there that cheap gems are not a thing anymore. I don't know why people still think that. Yeah, people still think that exists. Really no confuses the hell. <laughs> It's no longer a thing, so I don't but know. I mean, by all means, if that. you want to buy cheap gems or you have some sort of method to do power to you, yeah. you will get banned. That's it is theoretically it. possible, but it's a very retarded idea it's to do. It's a very that. stupid Fortress idea to do. Yeah. But, like, <laughs> <laughs> but, um, all right. Well, like we said, everyone here has used it. 
Lay, unfortunately, he is he is tainted. He, he tainted man. He did. He <laughs> might. He, he he's used tainted. it as well. <laughs> but um, what were you like? So like, my personal opinion of Team Gems was like it was the more efficient way to play. I know that sounds terrible, but in reality, it really was. What do you think? What do you think about Team Gems? What are your like initial opinions or thoughts on it? Um, <laughs> efficient as far as like spending less money. Yeah, one hundred percent. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, of course. Uh. Although I, you could also make the argument that you buy gems more often, it it could even turn out that you spend more because you buy cheap gems more often than you, you would otherwise. But see, but see, like it's it's, it's going to be like a parallel line; they just never meet, though, because you can continue yeah. to spend more, but you're going to get more gems. Like if you were to compare spending like a hundred dollars here, a thousand gems, as whereas Australian a hundred dollars is a hundred gems. Like I can, mm-hmm. I, I'm, you know. I'd be more inclined to spend a thousand dollars to get ten thousand gems than I would spend a thousand get a thousand. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like those yeah, lines, true. those lines never, those lines never met. And I think like the way that I, I still remember the when when the transfer ban happened, the fiasco in the poor dynasty server. My <laughs> God, Reddit over flooded the server and. <laughs> All hell broke loose. Yeah, oh, that was a bad day. That was a terrible day. And then poor Todd just kept on getting it so hard in his, in his comment section, dude. Oh, hey. it was, it was All a- I remember is like, and then New Year's that year, um, the the a new update came out and then <laughs> oh, the transfer. And everyone was transferred. Tr- I transferred from my shitty Samsung that was too slow and I hated playing on the game to my back to my iPhone. And it, and it was fine. <laughs> it was fine. Yeah. And then they issued the bands again. Shout out to iPhones. iPhone runs it <laughs> so much better. What, what yeah, kind of, I, I think Lay used a Huawei, I believe, right? Yeah, yeah. Uh, but I think iPhone runs it way smoother. iPhone oh. runs most games smoother than Android, for yeah. sure. Uh, you could have been even at, faster. You could have been even yeah. faster. <laughs> when I look at Coruscant's videos with, uh, recorded with an iPhone and compare it to mine recorded runs, mm. uh, you can see the difference. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Le- uh, less loading times because of server, yeah, but everything runs way smoother on iPhone than on, on Android. There you go, yep. and that's just facts. There are you heard it here first. Sorry, iPhone. Android fanboys. IPhone. Sadly, I was locked to uh, Android, <laughs> but did it? Okay, so I don't know if you want to get into it, but didn't you find a way to transfer your account? Um, your phone, though? Yeah, but um, from the one uh, phone, from phone to, the, to the yeah, what was it sorry? I could transfer with a uh, software from the same factory, uh, from the same bra- uh, same brand, over to the new phone. But it had that to worked. be the same. It had to be the same yeah. brand of phone, though. Yeah, I, I transferred from the P10 to the uh, P30 Mate. Oh, that's Mate the, that's P30. P30. the Mate Pro, the P30 Mate Pro is a good phone, though. It wasn't too bad. But like that's it, like there you go. There's always a way. You just need to be smart enough to think about it, or be lucky enough to have your have your game on a Huawei transfer band, and you can you can do that. <laughs> you can do it too. So if anybody out there that's transfer band and is on a Huawei, I wouldn't yeah. recommend doing it. Lane knows. Know he... Lane knows what he's doing. You all probably don't. I don't yeah. know if you guys know. App is called phone, uh, phone clone. The uh, Apple backup, like if you back up your phone oh, to iTunes work. and get a new, but really it, it worked for me. Uh, but I wasn't transfer locked on this account, so we'll see that. Uh, but that doesn't matter then. <laughs> it yeah, it did it. Yeah, it did it for my one that wasn't transfer locked. But um, I try, I tried it, and then I did not work at all. I tried to transfer. I tried to clone my current, my old phone onto my old seven, and it did not. And it did not transfer the account. <laughs> Joba, oh, <my laughs> you, you, so he's been caught Get in the pantry. I'm muting him. Get his I'm ass beat. <laughs> <laughs> Server mute. All right, Joe's gonna be muted for a bit now. Oh, <laughs> I'll, no. I'll unmute him for once. His mother leaves the kitchen and starts beating him. <laughs> <laughs> hey, full disclosure. We are nothing if not happen. professional. That doesn't happen. We are absolutely not professional. That's for sure. If I, as long as I'm the host of this goddamn podcast, it's gonna be a train wreck every episode. You know that. <laughs> All right, unmute Joba. He's back. Hello, Joba. Oh no, oh, he's fighting someone yeah. now. <laughs> All right, nonetheless, um, <laughs> I can't. We're doing man. it live, aren't we? We're, we, we? Bro, every app, the same thing we say. <laughs> <laughs> we just came right back. Getting back. All right, um, um, I say muted, man. No, all right. So, like, what, like, what do you think, was, in your opinion, was the transfer ban just, like, 
you can't get an ID or anything like that? Or do you, would, do you have an idea of like what it could be as well? Because like, you know, like Dylan Joba did say that, you know, if you didn't have a transfer band account, you're able to clone your account. But if you had a transfer band account, you weren't able to clone it. Do you think it was anything extra? Or do you think it was just the lack of ID or something when it came to hmm. transfer banding? I don't understand that question. <laughs> yeah, neither do I, actually. <laughs> so I was just thinking, because, like, you know, like, just the whole idea of, like, you know, Dylan Joba said that with the non-transfer band accounts, they were able to clone it to another phone. But with their transfer band accounts, they weren't able to clone it. Oh, so, like, how does it work? Yeah, do you think, like, they flag your account and then, like, it, it, it negates the ability to transfer in general? Or do you think, like... Yeah, yeah I probably, think... It probably goes through permissions. Yeah, I think they can uh, prohibit you to um, copy over the files or something. Oh, that makes sense, actually. Because uh, I, I don't know who said it, but an iPhone, you can't um, transfer some apps over to a new phone. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Apps that like, uh, so for example, we had this local delivery app in my town but that they went out of business. And when I transferred it all over onto my new phone, that app was automatically deleted off of this phone. Interesting. Yeah. So maybe, um, Joba did say he's self muted, but that's cap. So I'm going to go back and serve and mute him. Anyway. Um, shaking my head. <laughs> this guy's ruining the operation. Um, so that's interesting because then they control the permissions or like they can they can flag and they can slip just them. remove it. <laughs> oh man, Jobo. I hate this guy. Hey, don't worry, guys. I soft muted. <laughs> I muted him as well. I muted man, him. Man's, get, man's getting uh, smacked yeah, up. Yeah, but all my Craig won't mute him. Oh, there he goes. He just muted himself. All right, I muted him. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> God. All right. Um. Well, like so. Were you afraid? Like so, like you were a big puller. We know that. Big spender. We're all aware. I'm not going to get. Into, I'm not going to start asking you specific. Pulled on support banners. <laughs> yeah, you did <laughs> eat glue. You like the puppy certified glue certificate. You did achieve that goal. So I'm proud of you for that. <laughs> but um, but like, I'm not going to get into specific numbers. But like, what was there like because you're coming first on the time and you're like quite highly accoladed? Did you feel an obligation to continue to pull on everything to have everything, or did you just do that for the sake of having everything? Mm, for the sake of uh, competition, you had to pull. You had to have everything. So you, so you, so you purely yeah. pulled just to come first. That's about it. Yeah, so, some support units could uh, help you really. Yeah. Uh, did you like know uh, that a support unit would be very helpful just by looking at them, or did you just like assume uh, yeah, that it could be like that uh, Sabo one? Uh, you and on one treasure map, you could uh, one shot. A boss with support on him, on oh, uh, Snake Man. Uh, yeah, you knew it. Um, like uh, Sabo is really good. As a, yeah, it's a fantastic support unit. Yeah, sure. Olympus was a really good one for one of the treasure maps as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Olympus is the other, another one. Yeah. So you just pull just to win. Essentially, you were yeah. the <laughs> you were the pure definition of of pay to win, more or less, which is yeah. In itself, crazy. But that, that's but, just how Treasure Map is. Like, that's yeah. not... Yeah, exactly. That's not, that's not a reflection on you at all. It's no, just I mean, it, it is, though. Game mode is. The, like said, that's what I dislike is, about the new Blitz battles with uh, point boosters. 100%. That's why I went so hard on the Rice event. Just purely because of the fact there was no point boosters. And it was, yeah. like, it was, it was speed. And it, it had to do with RNG a lot as well. Yeah, that, that's the, literally the worst thing they ever could do. Yeah, it was annoying. It was very much annoying, but in reality, like just the fact that it was an even enough playing field, I felt like it was the only opportunity I can really have to compete and potentially get first place. Just by like yeah. sheer fact of like, if I get lucky on a couple of runs, I can get a lot of points. I can add, I can boost my personal average up in terms of points. And if I go faster than someone, I'm just going to be gaining points quicker than them. But the the issue was. You know, second place would earn 280 points and I'd earn 20 points in a run. And that's like 14 yep. times the amount of runs that I need to do to catch up to those points, <laughs> which is an issue. Yeah. But at least there was no point boosters, which is the best part about it. Yeah. That's a really the best times where there were no uh, RNG involved in the Blitz battle and was the best time. All right. I drove and said, We're good. I unmute him and I hear it crash. 
<laughs> I'm sorry. There's people are, waking up. Are you okay? Yeah. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Jesus <laughs> Christ. I might have to just chop this up. <laughs> no, um, we're, do- we're doing it live, yeah. man. But, um, all right, well... I think cheap gems is is is, is its own its, its own thing. It's its own beast. I think that's a, t- a topic of conversation that's been pretty much dug into the ground at this point. But the thing I really want to ask about is modders. I think in terms of like people that mod the game, you probably had the most experience combating <laughs> against people mm-hmm. that were blatantly cheating. What like if you, I I mean like you're open to name and shame. If you want to like call anyone out or whatever, by all means, like. You're welcome to do my, so. But my boy Dandy. <laughs> Dandy, oh we all. God. That's who what played, we played. Uh, high damage mod. So we all. I think like that, Dandy was one of the ones that we did know. I feel like. Yeah. We've, we've but, been like, uh, feel... <laughs> <laughs> but like, what do you like? What do you think? Like, oh, fuck. It, oh Dill is now struggling. <laughs> yeah, I um, I just okay. Now it's fine. It's all good. All right, I was good. Just after my dog and um. <laughs> And then I didn't realize I was still playing treasure map. <laughs> oh my god! Yo, I, I feel left on like, like you'll suck, out. man. I should have done a one on one with with Lane. <laughs> <laughs> but um, so like, like, all right. Well, TM was notorious for modders. How did you, how did you beat them? <laughs> like, I, that's like a, a really broad question. But anyone else in in that position, I don't think could have kept up if not won a lot of the time let alone you were able to do so against a lot of time pretty blatant individuals that were cheating so like what did what, what do you think like how, how did you manage to keep up pace or like stay ahead and win i think it depending it's depending on uh the treasure mode if there was um you can use the highest boosted team all the time or you had to switch up if you had to switch up uh, i played more and faster than them that's the only reason i won Mm. And um, if uh, I could use the highest boosted team, I played faster than him. <laughs> so and, is, and longer, I, I guess. <laughs> so it was literally just purely like you were still outspeeding people that were, yeah. that were cheating. Like that in itself is ridiculous. It's, you know, these people have the opportunity to go as basically as fast as they can or as fast as they want. Because, like, the game isn't really good at picking up, like, high damage or max damage. It can't pick that up. Which is weird. Yeah. I think, yeah, that's, that's <laughs> one of the worst things about it is that, like, they put so much effort into stopping cheap gems, but we still have these modders as, in, in the game, which I think is just awful. Think, Even to this yeah. day, we still have modders. It's not, it's not a thing of the past. It still happens. Yeah. I, mean, I think rank one right now in TM might be a mod, but that's yeah, besides... 500 the, million points. But that's besides 500 this, million points. The second day? I think it's third day now. No, it's, second day. It's, it's, it's third day. It's, two and a, it's day two and a half. Yeah, five hundred mil <laughs> or whatever. So like, yeah, and he's, TM, and, dude, I mean, but, even yeah. his even his name is like some dude with like two, uh, two like he's I'm like. About, dim- I just finished a run. I'll t- I'll get his name up. Yeah, I mean, I don't think he has his name now. I think he has like a, like a in- image kind of thing there. But like, it still pertains to this day, and I think it's a big issue because in Blitz, for some reason, cheat detections good like it's it's a lot better than treasure map they can actually mm-hmm. from time to time like we've had yeah, from time to time yeah that i mean keyword being that like it's not going to be all the time yeah. but um we've had instances i mean even in, in the recent summer girls blitz everyone went up like a, a rank or two because there were people that were caught for cheating later on like uh-huh. once the event had ended which is astonishing because you have to realize that the technology is there they have the ability to do so <laughs> But for some yeah, reason, they, they choose they not to do it. Real time. It, it. It's really, really <clears throat> confuses me how obviously they must flag the people during the map. Yeah. They, know, they know that those people are cheating and they get them afterwards. So why not just get it done in real time? But then like this, it's still no excuse that they can't do it in real time if they're able to ban them afterwards. You know? Yeah. Like they should be do able you to guys remember uh, the cloud guy? Yeah. That cloud came guy, yeah, yeah. second on Blitz Battle and get banned? But yeah. kept his uh, rank one on treasure map. What the that heck? was right because it was a blitz and then a treasure map right afterwards. Right, I was like, yeah. so I mean, that's okay. right. He got so banned. To, sorry, to, sorry to interrupt, you guys. Uh, so the guy is at five hundred and seventy million points. Doing in second place, he's only at three hundred and sixty mil. And then there's mm-hmm. Shotzi in third place, I believe, right now. Uh, no, uh, Shotzi's second. Oh, Shotzi's second. Okay. 
I think Shotzi's Shotzi's. I think Bieber's like fourth, maybe. Uh, Bieber's fifth. Not okay. two hundred mil. And Alucardo. Alucardo. Alucardo's up there. He should be. He was chasing yeah. me for a little bit. Game Freak's higher than Alucardo. Oh, Game Freak was like top fifteen at that point. So. Game Freak's bang on fifteenth. Yeah. Um, I think Haz- I think Hazard said that Alu Alucardo's eighteenth. I think Alucardo was going to go for first, but then this guy was a little guy was- suspicious. So I don't think he's going to go for it anymore. Yeah, he's no, he's he's definitely suspicious. Five hundred mil in two and a half days. I don't know. It's kind of like that's kind of that's that's faster than a layman. Even then, yeah. If Lay got five hundred mil in two and a half days, it'd kind of be like, yep, yeah, he's he's gone. God, he's gone ultra instinct. You know, he's gone yeah. above and beyond. Uh, but um, it's not it's not just the speed. Like I, you know, I haven't his captains or anything. But he's like power level like four hundred something. It's hard to believe someone. You know, 400 something, that means you don't really play the game all that much, to be honest. All right, it's lay. <laughs> Confirmed. He started uh, let, me, let me see. Let me see. <laughs> and after 48 hours, I was at 500 mil on Smoothie Oven. Oh, shit. Okay. Well, you never know at this point, then. Maybe we've found the next lay. You know, I mean, like, hey, I don't know, <laughs> man. But I um, mean, anyone, in, anyone can be lay with a K, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Well, that's it though. Like, it, I think I think it does come down to like the the lack of cheat detection or the lack of mod detection. Mm-hmm. It's very evident, and like Todd said, it makes zero sense why they cracked down so hard on cheap gems, but they chose not to do anything about modding. But on the contrary, I think that if they were to do that, I think Lay you would have been banned a few times from TM. Just purely by the fact that your points were just at, at the same level, if not higher, than the people that were cheating as well. Mm-hmm. I think that <laughs> I think that would have been the case a lot of the time, and you know, then at that point you got to look at it like unfairly, like you know, kicking someone out. But I think the whole the whole cloud guy situation, where he did come second in blitz and then got banned, but then proceeded to come first in TM and not get banned, is just a mm-hmm. blatant evidence that like. I guess maybe because Blitz was made first, so they kind of like tried to have some sort of like cheat detection or mod detection, but then TM was just like a copy paste from JP, and they just said whatever. You like, you could have you do you remember that statement that they put out when they were initially flagging accounts for cheap gems? I think so. And it was like you know it's un- unfair to the rest of the, the people playing <laughs> the game. Blah 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 blah. You could literally <laughs> copy paste that statement and plug it in for modders. Is the exact same thing. It so really one is. Of them, one of them hurts their bottom line, so they don't do anything about it. But you've got to think about it, though. I, I still harp on this fact as well. 2019's revenue, I think, uh, was less than 2018's revenue. Yep. 2018's revenue had cheap gems. I don't I, know if I anything... I banned a whole heap of people. Like, a lot, so many people just quit because their accounts got locked. It's like, well, what's the point if I can't like upgrade my device that I play on? You know what I mean? Like, I mean, like, that's inherent, but, like, I feel like with Cheap Gems and Lay, correct me if I'm wrong, like, I don't know if you know, though, but, like, refunding wasn't 100% guarantee all the time, though. Surely, no. at, yeah, surely at some point, the transaction goes through and they spend the money, you know? Yep. So, if you're, if you're assuming that you have, I'm just going to, I'm going to put a number out there, maybe thousands of players, I don't know how many people did, but I'm just going to say thousands of players purchasing Cheap Gems. If like you say you you have like an eighty percent success rate of refunds, that twenty percent still goes to Bandai. I mean, like in reality, they do have to like return that money. So do they really make a profit? Probably not. However, in terms of revenue for the game, they are going to make more just by the pure fact that people are going to be spending money. And it just always comes back to the fact that you know if it's. I mean, like, even recently, it's been six years since they were, like, it's, this is the first time, sorry, five years for Global that they've been transparent about issues and about situations <laughs> that are going on. It's been five it's goddamn been years. Like, they need to really hop on these things because, like, this game, I personally don't feel like it's going to last that much longer if it keeps in this trajectory. Like yeah. I think, I think I want to ask. Like, you read that statement from Bandai, right? Like, I was literally it, about to say. Yeah. The exact <laughs> you read that statement, <laughs> the economy one. What, like, what do you think? Oh, Who do you? What do you think about that? Honest, like your honest, straight up opinion. What do you think about that? Because that made no. It's, I think to all of us, we're, we'll talk about it in the episode itself, episode thirteen. But like, what do you think? We were bewildered by that. What do you think? Like, that's crazy. <laughs> they, uh, they are hard clowning. <laughs> They, bro, they, they're, they're clowning, dude. 
<laughs> doesn't make any fucking sense what they are talking. Because I think like, the balance in the economy of the game, like yeah. what? what? Correct me if I'm wrong, but we still got a three star ticket though. We didn't get a four star. Yeah. I yeah. like I, I agree when yeah. they're talking about the the game economy and the balance of, and that sort of thing. When it came to cheap val uh, d- cheap valley, geez, <laughs> gem We're valley combining to the greatest yeah, we event put them all together, <laughs> but gem valley and they're like it hurts the economy of the game. Absolutely, it does. Do away with it. That's fine. Mm. But when you're talking about a three star ticket versus a four star ticket, mm-hmm. yeah. come on, man! Like yeah, especially yeah. because they both have a four percent legend rate or something. Yeah, yeah. Regardless of the ticket itself, the only, it's the still only thing that changes rate. are the uh, free stars that doesn't get pulled. Yeah, just take them out of the pool. But I'll be honest with you, I was talking to Dill. A lot of my tickets recently have been have had a really high red hit rate. Yeah, that's, I've, I've been getting a lot of legends in my tickets, and I don't know if like underground they've like they've manipulated some numbers to make tickets hit like a lot more often, but like. It still made no sense to me that they said we apologize. I, I mean, I might, I might be like saying the wrong thing, but like they, they're, yeah, they're like we apologize for saying it was a four star or better ticket. It should have, it, like, it should have said three star or better. Regardless of that statement, we still got a three star or better ticket. So I feel like they're trying to cover their ass. If somebody had they turned just, around and they said, just didn't need to say it. They, they honestly, like the thing is, is a lot of people didn't even realize that it was incorrect in the first place. They could have no literally one, got away no, with it without saying anything. A lot, no one realized. Yeah, exactly. Like, like and, it, it was just a stupid post that that like they could have apologized. That's fine, but they didn't need to say that. Like the second half of that post did not need to be there. No, no. Whoever, just say, whoever hey, wrote we that, up the name of it. Sorry, whoever wrote that it. deserves to just be fired outright. <laughs> I don't know, man. Terrible, terrible. Whoever post. was not even whoever. It's not not whoever wrote that. I apologize, but whoever like said, "Hey, you need to write this thing because we need to make sure they know where we're at." <laughs> is, we we we, we, we don't. Sh- we don't shoot the messenger here. Yeah, I, the thing like, is, is, we that, know that was, how it that, works. that surely would have had to have been approved by multiple people. It, I mean, definitely. it has to. It definitely has to so be approved by multiple people. It makes people. no sense to it me. It would have had to come down from the top end all the way down to whoever is in charge of writing that statement. You know, so somebody would have the 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 big boss would have said, "I don't." He probably doesn't even understand what the game is. He just has all the money. He's like, "All right, quick." We need to defend ourselves. And I think the reason why they put that statement out is just in case someone turned around and said, you yeah, said I, I read four the star. Yeah, you said four star, one. but it was a three star, you know? And then they have to compensate over the ticket. You know, that's like, oh, we'll give you a gem. But like, isn't like giving them like people free gems more Giving a gem is more yeah, damaging it more, to the economy of the game. Yeah. Because that's the currency in the game. Who gives a shit about like fucking four star Luffy, man? Like it's you give me like free gems, I'm not gonna go buy gems. I don't need to at that point. It doesn't yeah. make any sense uh, to do so. I'm really disappointed I didn't get base Zoro, man. It sucks. Bro, come on, <laughs> bro. Base Zoro, I, mean, I, need a, I haven't rainbowed him yet, man. Come on, <laughs> dude. I need to need to rainbow him out, dude. But I think overall, like there's not much to really talk about with modders and cheap gems, though, in the grand scheme of things. The, like the, it, pri- the priorities of the company is that's the that's the thing we that, need to get in check, it, yeah. though. I think that kind of leads perfectly into the whole like what. So you know, we I, th- I believe everyone is aware you did retire heroically, might I add, by just uninstalling <laughs> the game completely, <laughs> which is like the best way to do it. If people say I'm, I quit <laughs> and then put the phone aside and pick it back up every so often is just the wrong way to do it. I think honestly, the game is the best way to quit. However, yeah. so like, wh- I think we'll start with like, what, what pushed you to quit? Like, what was like the last straw that made you say, you know what, I'm done? Uh, <clears throat> the last straw um, was after the third uh, treasure map uh, where I came first and Koala Sabo got released and I did like 40 multis or something <laughs> and didn't get them <laughs> and I was wow. I said fuck it you call me uh, you can call me salty or something but I said fuck it after doing uh, 46 for Kata V2 after doing Don't 45 me, for uh, <laughs> Bardo Kev and then doing whatever for Kawala Sabo I said fuck it <laughs> well there you go think of those numbers what was it 35 for Bardo Kev 46 yeah. for V2 Kata, and then 40 plus for Sabo Koala. 
That's you a know, lot of rally points. <laughs> <laughs> that's a lot of time feeding units, yeah. man. <laughs> but like, that's <laughs> basically what is building it? the economy of the game. <laughs> Bro, <lay positive. laughs> that's why the revenue dip, man. They're like, oh, yeah, the shit. Life, blood, man. They saw like laser count go inactive, uninstalled. They're like, no, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> Quick, quick, get him back. Income. No. <laughs> quick, give him a transfer <laughs> code. Email him. Give him one back. But um, I wouldn't be surprised if I reinstalled it and could magically uh, get my account back. I would pull like 10 legends out of uh, a multi or something. I swear it's always <laughs> get the back, case, uh, Get back. <laughs> get, him, get him back in, man. But, like, just think about like Cab 36. The next one, 40. There's like 35, 46. What are we at? We're at 81. And another 40 at 120 multis for three legends. Like, that's, that's just like, it's like, I didn't, 6, even do 100, I didn't even do 100 multis in 2019. <laughs> like, that's, that's so cool. 6,000 uh, gems. I don't know. That's a lot. That's like, in, you have to think about it. 100 multis is actually a lot, though. That's, mm-hmm. 100 multis is 5,000 gems, dude. Like, that's a lot of spending. <laughs> I that's mean, like, crazy. I respect it. I wouldn't call you salty. I reckon if you do 40 multis on a game, you deserve like the unit. You just yeah, it, well, they're doing that now on JP. I do respect that the fact, but it's still what 30? 30, yeah. It's and it's still. one of two. It's not even Oh no, like, no, no. You can get the guaranteed one that you want if you pull on the right part. But so I have to do 60 multis total to guarantee myself both legends, what you're saying. Yeah, yeah. That's fucking stupid. <laughs> <laughs> like, you know what I mean? If I haven't pulled both legends within 30 multis. Like, I'm Don't not pulling them. Like a spit in the face is there's no discounts along the way either. <laughs> you just you just go raw dog at 1,500 I mean, gems. It, it still comes down to the fact that dupes mean hardly anything in Treasure Cruise, and that's the only yeah. reason why. It is Once you pull the unit once, you don't need to pull them again. It's very rare that a dupe is actually important. Yeah, but we like, need a real uh, PT system in this game. In this game. And, yeah, if there was like a dupe system that made the unit like twice as good, man, holy shit. But then again, people are already saving dupes now anyway. So if that system came out, it's just like... I think it's the inevitable next upgrade system, though, that they've been teasing. We'll wait and see, because 10.0 is... Okay, we'll, we'll, wait, we'll wait for the next, next podcast for that, because me and Poppy have some ideas. We did, we did, we did. We uh, did. Scheming. <laughs> bro, always, bro. Always have to. <laughs> well, so, like, what else is there to do in camera? We walked around the CBD. <laughs> absolutely nothing. <laughs> we walked around the CBD in 15 minutes. I said, all right, time to go home, man. He's at right, bet. See you later. <laughs> But um, so that's it. So that's why you quit. But like overall, did you enjoy playing the game? Did you not like? Did you enjoy what, the community? Did you join the community? Yeah. What like what was your honest opinion on Treasure Cruise? <clears throat> um, I enjoyed the game, but it uh, went downhill pretty fast with the release of the first treasure map. <laughs> so as yeah. soon as treasure map people agree game that. over, and I I, I, I personally agree, agree with that hundred percent. See, I mm-hmm. enjoy treasure map because like I can <clears> I can no brain it, and like I like treasure maps more than Blitz. But only if I like, so even if I do have like, if I if I do have all the boosters, I do feel more inclined to rank higher. But if I have if I haven't got all the boosters, because I always do the two multis to get the guaranteed at least one. Um, yeah. So if, I, if I've only got the one booster, I kind of just no brain and like watch mm. TV or something. But the, the thing I do like about Blitz is the duration that it's available for. Like it's only there for like two days and that's it. No, but yeah. now it's messed up. Rice of was seven days, which I wanted to die. I actually wanted to. <laughs> yeah, and, my eyes out. With and the then Luffy Zora. Yeah, be then the Luffy Zora well. Blitz is seven days as well. What it like? <sighs> what's the point? Like, you know what I mean? Like, what's the point? I mean, and, and that's what I'm saying. Like, for for like my for a player like myself, where I usually only go for like red tickets and shit, and only missing one it's like the, i don't have any motivation to play for sure oh, see, i'm going for tablets and the, well that, that's another good but, thing as well but, but i feel but like, like kazuna is better for tablets yeah Lay, what do you think, think kazuna is way better for tabs yeah 100 <clears throat> well, percent. no yes, doubt yes i know though like for example i i re- I've, like i've had to reset the box like multiple times because it was getting down to like one 100 left of the of the rewards and i still hadn't got any of the um tablets i wanted but like i'm regardless i'm there's no point in me keep pulling on that box because I'm losing out at that point. But see, like, I think that's the difference because you're chasing particular tablets. Whereas yeah, for that's, someone, that's a yeah, thing. yeah, where for someone that is just wanting to stockpile tablets, the method of, you know, continuing to pull as long as the, the chance of you pulling a tablet is, is it greater or like, less? Like the, the, late, the latest kids, you know, that came out, I spent about maybe 10 ish potions and like I got. At least twenty of each tablet, which like, is like seven seven free potions. Disclaimer: you know you got like you're given seven yeah, exactly. or eight of those gets, anyway. Yeah, that's exactly so like, right. 
So, like, you know, the opportunity to get 20 of each tablet is, you know, good. Like it's for, huge, yeah. That. So and like, that, and that's free way to do it. But, like, yeah, that, yeah, again... Bean, got bean this no, time. but again, though, you, are you guys chasing particular tablets, though? You just guys... I didn't I didn't get up. to box seven until the last day. Because yeah, I had to go down to the bottom of every good. other box. Yeah, I'm I was using the exact same photos copy. When you yeah, yeah, I got to box seven on, like, day two. So that makes a big difference, I suppose. True, true, true. That's fair. Yeah, it was definitely better, especially if you talk on. The, the thing I do like about Treasure Map, though, is like if by getting to seven mil points, you get three reds and you get a bunch of tablets. I think you get like what 10 or eight of each of the tablets. Eight. That are, yeah, that's that's so good. And you get a few potions, you get it like a meat or something, two meats, something like that. It's pretty good, like just regular rewards. And now I'm with sure the keys and stuff, I yeah. just don't understand why they've still made tablets such a sacred thing, though. They need to do like a, like a double tablet up fucking thing. No, they just need to make tablets more available. Yeah, we need more tablets. I don't care I about the no. rate. The rate's fine, but just stop stop holding them in such high regard. Like it's not even the most the most valuable thing right now is keys. Oh, you know? support <laughs> support medals can be. Oh, I don't think, bro. Me and Lay farmed up about three thousand support medals, man. We're big chilling, bro. <laughs> Lay told me to farm it. I said yes, sir, and I just farmed up a fuck ton of support medals. I'm chilling. I don't know about your, but um, well, nah, but I, wait till wait till the new update. There's probably going to be some other item that we'll have to farm for eventually. Hey yeah. man, late, let me, bro, late tell me to farm it. I'll do it, man. That's all I got to say. Bro, late <laughs> tell me to late tell me to retire, man. So I got to retire, guys. Sorry about that. I got, you heard it here <laughs> first, man. But um, yo, I should retire, <laughs> bro. Dead ass. We're gonna retire. And <laughs> is we're gonna we're gonna change the podcast name to the retired home. <laughs> My dude, time, you, dude. You saw how much hate we got when me and Cobby uh, quit for a couple months. Like, bro, like, oh, Reddit, <laughs> Reddit, dis bro, Reddit Discord went ham. I'm sorry, bro. I was like looking up some shit, man. They were roasting you guys. I was like, fuck, dude, that's upsetting. Hey, but this chat has a higher collective IQ than the entire Reddit Discord, which is saying heaps. <laughs> yep. And even and Job is yeah. here, and he's in the Every, negative. <laughs> any of them can at me. I don't give a shit. I'll do it. Hey, that's fake, bro. I don't hey, man, I'm more qualified than all y'all, so... You Cap, Lay's right here. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say. <laughs> he doesn't count. He's a guest. Yeah, he does. <laughs> he definitely <laughs> does. If 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 Rai counted for Dilber's comment, then Lay definitely counts for yours. <laughs> all right. <laughs> All right. Have you guys got any questions you want to ask, Lay? The yep, floor is open. Go for it. All right. I want to know what you, what what's your favorite legend? <laughs> None of uh, them. It was uh, Hody back then. Then oh Karis, oh, shit. definitely. That's, it's the fast captain. Uh, it's of yeah, course. It's, it's speed. Uh, yeah, speed captains. So now it's the new Arlong, right? That's the new Arlong. Kaido is still fast. Uh, it's, it, uh, uh, Arlong is kind of insane, yeah. <laughs> do you like, uh, do, who do you think is better, Kaido, like in terms of speed wise? Do you think Kaido is good? Or Kaido's, do you think Kaido's, Kaido's fa literally faster than Arlong unless there is a, um, uh, uh, the debuff that fucks Kaido. Uh, it depends if the content uh, is easy beatable by Kaido. Kaido is uh, we'll better. Be superior, yeah. 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 Well, but uh, if he uh, needs to stall, he has kind of problems, no? Mm -hmm. That's true. I mean, Arlong, Arlong, if you need to do like shit loads of damage, Arlong would be better for that. Arlong game. is so yeah. strong. Uh, Higher so multiplier can... and uh, minus 10 CD is insane. 2.5 attack boost. Yeah. yeah. Something yeah. different, bro. Ability <laughs> too, that adds more stats, so that always helps. All right, I got a question. Do you think if you were playing JP, you could compete with Coruscant? Mm, no. <laughs> because, oh, yeah. uh, I sleep. Uh, I slept seven hours each day. Yeah, and he if I sleep, sleep less, I I die. <laughs> <laughs> so you're saying, so you're saying, less less. <laughs> you're saying Coruscant doesn't sleep at all. No, he, he sleeps like four, uh, three to four hours or something. Oh my god! And I can't. Uh, I don't function at this level of sleep. Yeah. See, I whenever I ranked relatively high on treasure map, it's like so since. I went to, like, I, I still go to work and stuff when, when farming treasure map. So I do my shift. So there, I, there might be some times where I won't be playing because I'm obviously working. So that means I stay up later to farm, which means I get less sleep. <laughs> True. So I have to do that just to get within top 10 range because of fucking work. <laughs> mm -hmm. Well, like, okay. So, like, do you think 
so like obviously like where where do you think you'd place yourself in terms of like because you know like you you understand like i know the whole history of optc more or less where would you where would you uh you can show off as much as you want where would you rank yourself in terms of like the greats of optc uh, would, you, would you put yourself as the best ever nah oh who nah. do you think who do you think's the best OBC, I, like, I, like, I, let's say global only. Who do you think the best? Global only. Uh, Other than you, hmm. who do you think the best global player was or is? Racer. No, I was going to say he would have been my choice. Yeah. He's what kind of about, insane. What about currently? Uh, what about Toadski? No. <laughs> what about Toadski? <laughs> <from it. laughs> who would you say currently? Because like, I guess Razor Robert, like, I don't know if they're still playing or not, but like... Um, who uh, do you think currently, like right now, would be the best global player at the moment? Yeah, in terms of team building or... I mean, I think team, team, team building is Etna. We all know that. That's for sure. <laughs> yeah, the, uh, and the team building is Snooker or... Yeah, Snooker. Snooker's a great yeah, yeah. in. Yeah. In terms so, of ranking, I would say um, my, my boys, uh, Bipro and uh, Azar. Bipro is good, man. Or Alipado. But I, I think that that would be my my shout for the new generation would be Bebro Hazard and Ali, hundred percent. Yeah. Those three uh freaks. Bebro scared the <laughs> shit out of me when he when he passed me in the rice event. I was like, no, not you. <laughs> I was like, anyone but <laughs> anyone you. But. <laughs> I was like, I, I was like, I was like, there's no there's no known names in the top ten. Capu was obviously there as well. My apologies. Yeah, but, Capu. Um, but like, I was like, there's no no, and then Bebro just comes out of nowhere, and I'm like. <laughs> Fuck off, don't bro. Do this to me. Don't do it now. And then he said, no, nah, you go for it. Like, yes, sir. And then, but um, Hazard, Hazard actually surprised the shit out of me. I didn't even know. He's Hazard incredible. He's very yeah. good. All right. There you go, boys. You oh, heard wait, it here. I, I, got, I, got, I got one more. <laughs> no, I'm not, I'm not ending it. I'm just saying you heard it here. Oh, okay. Hazard, I thought you were ending. I was like, wait, All right, boys. Up. Catch your legs line. We've got viewer questions still, man. But yeah, Hazard, right. Hazard Alu B, bro. That's the top three. It, uh, yeah. That's lazy as well. That's that comes from the, the god. I, w- I that's, wouldn't disagree. That comes from the god, sure, and cool. obviously team building. Etna Snooker, your two are still oh, titans. I, I've, I've got a question as well, actually. All right, all right you, you should go on there now, Dildo. Out of all of so, out of what you've seen from so, you've obviously spoken to all of us before, like uh, at one point or another, or even just now in the podcast. After speaking to us and seeing how who's the dumbest got, one here. <laughs> 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 Uh, who do you think has? So, who do you think is the like got the most like resilience when it comes to grinding, farming stuff? Um, so, because we know the most knowledge is Totski, easily. Here. No, I wouldn't say that. Nah, you, I think you, Edna, 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 I, I, no, Captain here Martin's right now, very close second. Here right uh, now, yeah. So, of the GGP podcast, who do you think's got like? Uh, including to... Knight, put Knight in this. Including He's not like, here, yeah, but put Knight in this. Sure. I reckon Knight might actually know more than Todd. I uh, maybe. He probably does. I don't, uh, yeah, like oh, me and him. I know. Maybe we have to have like a trivia, some some Ooh, shit. Of, like, yeah, trivia, I, that trivia video. Yeah. I can yeah. host that. I'm down, dude. Yeah, <laughs> we should do that for sure. But yeah, who do you think? Who do you think's like? Um, yeah, for far, for farming wise, whether we, so you got Poppy and, and his um and his my, blitz my, with the rice. One, my one ray, my yeah. one shot. Poppy's your only answer. No, yeah, my ring one boy. Let's go, boys. <laughs> Fuck you. I'm the man. Nah, it's still. It's 100% Dilba. If it comes yeah, to. I, was gonna say, I will debate that. <laughs> he, uh, he, everything he, else. he asked the question just so he get the answer. No, that no, it I, I, I honestly thought. Um, I it's honestly you. Thought, no, uh, we, 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 all, we all know it's you. Effort recently and but in terms of like longevity, you've. Rank you've attempted, if not ranked higher, <laughs> more often than anyone else. All right, you can't be. Man's roasting me. No, but like, it's, it's like gets, all like... of us have our own strengths. Like, I mean, uh, Knight as well. Knight is slept on. It's yeah. like Knight. Yeah, like, Knight can Knight, play. Knight's going up against the JP players, man. Yeah, yeah Knight, bro. You may have seen Coruscant and bro, like, fuck, man, not that guy. Yeah, and that's the thing. Like, so Knight's going up against the JP players, with JP players are freaks, and then like pop, pop, between Papi and Joba farming their fucking turtles for XP. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh, happy, happy does that too. I beat the shit out of Joba, bro. Oh, yeah. I booked his yeah, ass. Yeah. I, I fair, that that did quit after day two, so it wasn't fair. <laughs> yeah, so... I also had a huge advantage, or a huge lead. And I still beat you, I only really try hard in treasure maps. Everything else, I'm like, yeah, whatever. It's yeah, hard, though, man. I don't try hard very often. I just don't I like think, 
Out of that the GGB a- cast, it, in terms of grinding, it would be you or I would shout Knight, 100%. Yeah, yeah like uh, that's the thing. I, I don't know. I know for a fact I'm not. We can be run for my money. No, because Knight does like 100 nav levels, like most TMs. As yeah, far yeah as I mean, exactly. I mean, I, the I, issue I, is he has to, though. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, keep up with you, 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 you have 500. Yeah. Yeah. See, I generally average yeah. about like nav level 60 to 70. Dep- but also depends on how many point boosters I have and how hard everyone else is going. Mm, 100%. Yeah. Hey, Dylan, so you want to race this TM or what? What are we doing? I mean, you already are, aren't you? <laughs> yeah, we <laughs> Man, right, work was so, so fucking busy. I got, so. I got my question now. It's a two-part question. So the Ooh. first part of this question is, uh, beside the part where you quit, because obviously you quit around the time Sabo and Koala, what other part or era of Treasure Cruise <clears throat> did you freaking despise? Um, you hated. Uh, after Treasure Mate Sanji and Zoro, I uh, quit it. I even got demoted to uh, Grand Holy Lady. shit, I wow. had no idea, dude. <laughs> Wait, so what was around the time of uh, Zoro Sanji? Uh, after uh, Shanks V2. Oh, wow. Oh, okay. that's, when, that's when dual units came out, isn't it? I hate that too. Yeah, right as they were coming out, yeah. yeah I hate Is that why you quit? Like, why, why did you... Why did you no. quit at that point? <laughs> I got uh, like, rank one tries in a row. <laughs> that was when the feature admirals came out and Legend Garp. Oh, so you got rank one like... Oh, that was around the I time got... where transfer locks were going out then. Yep. Mm-hmm. And you got rank one. Yeah, yeah. I think mean, that's because you got rank one like they got three times in a row or some shit. He says, too easy, man. You quit. <laughs> <laughs> I think that was the case, actually. It might nah, have been. at this point, I, at this time, I was really bored with the game. Mm-hmm. It was a treasure map, Polo, done. Done for the month. Then yeah, what's true? What brought you back, though? Like, what made you want to, did you, like, what made you want to uh, I During the time, I played different games and stuff, ah, okay. but uh, at Bergen, I got bored <laughs> and came back. <laughs> oh, no, dude. How are you feeling and, now, though, at work? Are you feeling, do you feel like you, do you feel the crave to keep playing it, or are you just completely out forever? Uh, now, I think I'm done for good. Okay. Are, are there any other games you're playing? Like, gotchas or uh, regular games? Currently, I'm playing uh, Call of Duty and uh, the new game, Vulcan. He did the get banned from Raid Shadow Legends. I'll tell you that yeah, one. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he, he refunded and then banned him. <laughs> Why would you even purchase it on Raid Shadow Legends? Bro, it's late. He, he, either has, <laughs> he either has too much money or he just instinctually buys in-game currency for whatever game he's playing, man. Get ready. <laughs> That's true, actually. <laughs> 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 they're never sponsoring us. Oh, wait, they never sponsor anyone. <laughs> yeah, they've they never, they never done such a thing. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> never won. Um, so the second part to my question was the opposite of that. So what part of Treasure Cruise, like what era of Treasure Cruise did you like enjoy the most? Uh, sorry, Jesse Robert from Twitter. You did ask that question. Yeah. <laughs> oh, really? Oh, my bad. Well, shout, out to right. Jesse yeah, shout, shout out to, to Jesse Robert. Shout out to those guys. Shout out to um, them. Easy answer. The first and second Blitz Battle area. They were good fun. Well, the first yeah, one first, specifically was good fun. Yeah. was yeah. Like, so cool because uh, the whole community came together and like... Exactly. The first and only time. The first and, um, and only and time. Yeah. My favorite part of that one was when really. um, the Kiza- it was Kizaru or Kuzan, one of them went over 400 and everyone like, <laughs> as, a, like as a massive group, like, who, who is this guy? We're going to get in contact with him. And it took everyone like, a, like six hours to get in contact with this one guy who was not in like majority of the Discord servers. He was like the in like one really found him though is scary. That's my favorite though. found him and he goes, okay, I'll stop. And then he changed his tag, like hashtag 412 or something. And then everyone who was at 400 went to 412. 412. They just kept going. <laughs> it is, oh, God. I, my, my favorite part of that first Blitz battle was uh, during that Blitz battle, we got information on 6 plus Sengoku. And then I pulled him during, <laughs> during the Blitz battle. <laughs> oh, yeah, we're, we're all just talking Imagine oh, being happy so about funny. Sengoku. <laughs> yeah, that was so funny. Bro, come on, cuz. <laughs> Say, hey, just wait, man. I'm, I'm calling it, bro. Say, Goku is he's making the comeback, bro. It's yeah. time. Yeah. If you guys remember the drama between Boruto and Trunks during the second Blitz battle. Yeah, dude. That <laughs> shit was crazy. 
<laughs> that was some. That was I, some I'm clearly. I missed. That, that was some words yeah, being flung around. That. that I mean, I'll let Lay. Video. I'll let Lay tell the story, man. He probably. He probably knew it better than I did. Uh, I think uh, Trunks was first. No, no, no. Baruto was first, and Trunks was behind him, and they uh, made a gentleman's agreement that they would stop. But uh, <laughs> Trunks kept, kept grinding, <laughs> and Baruto got angry as fuck. <laughs> oh, <man. laughs> This is back when Boruto actually cared and played about the game too, though. Oh, the, the first Blitz battle where Boruto uh, joined voice call and fell asleep. And he fell asleep, <laughs> yeah! <laughs> <laughs> oh, that, oh, Ronnie. Ronnie. Ronnie is a goat. Ronnie is uh, so... I love Ronnie, man. <laughs> Dude, those days are so sick. And people cared, man. It's... <laughs> It's so hard these days, man. Like, cause like those were the times, like you know, Blitz was twenty four, forty eight hours. So people would legitimately just stay up for like forty eight hours. hours. Straight, yeah, we, yeah, we had we had a twenty four hour lunch. Exactly, dude. Months, like uh... pe- people actually cared enough to like stay up and like play the whole time. We used to have, I remember we used to have like voice calls that were like. 30, 40 people deep, and you'd everyone just be yelling at one another. Yeah, see, 18 I, would hours long. Calls. I would always join the calls that were like private, like, like, like the private chats that were in the Discord. Nah, and, man, you I, was really out, I preferred the big calls. To you be missed honest. out on the big calls. Dude, my anxiety was like, yeah, like yeah, unfortunately, because we used to like play like anime song guessing games while we were farming too, bro. We used to have so much fun, man. <laughs> now it's just like. <laughs> Now it's just like, that's you know, it. we jo- we joined VC just to troll Todd's stream, unfortunately. That's a bad thing. That's, yeah, that's, 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 that's have Todd ignore us. Yeah, unfortunately. Yeah. Not, Once yeah. I've realized yeah. what's going on, I'm like, okay, I, I can stop I can, focusing I can, on I can, I can, Yeah, you can stop focusing on what we're saying and actually focus on streaming. <laughs> oh, this, this is a blitz. Uh, this is a good blitz throwback. Um, <laughs> upgrade for Legend Blackbeard. Oh, no. Oh, no, Legend Fujitora. That's what it was. What, what, what are you talking about? Legend Did you hear that, that our concept for three? Oh yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. Now I know. That's when we invented V V three Fuji, man. Like yeah. Five blind, times man. captain, but he's blind all wasn't the time. Joel, <laughs> wasn't it Joel? The one Joel did invent yeah, yeah, yeah. that. That is true. And then we just rode with that forever. When everyone someone would join the VC, we'd be like, "You, you all heard of V three Lucy?" Yeah, and we spent yeah, Fuji Todd's chat. <laughs> and Tom was like, "Yo, V three Fuji," and then we're like, "Yeah, bro, five times <laughs> captain, but he's blind." <laughs> you can't. Yo, yeah. So dumb, man. Poor Trunks couldn't even hit it perfect, man. It feels bad. <laughs> this is why our second uh, blitz, no? I'm yeah. I'm more than that for my enraged tablets, Cobby, on my Kaido. Who who do you think was your biggest legit competition? Not modders, not anything of the sort. Who do you think it was your biggest mm-hmm. actual competition? During uh, <laughs> blitz, let's say yeah. During blitz, during and blitz, uh, race yeah. easily. And during TM, yeah, uh, no Game one. Freak was up there some at the beginning. Yep. And he stopped. Uh, and then he stopped caring. After, yeah, uh, after R- Razor uh, Robert. Oh, okay, then question. It, it I'm depends I'm a... it's between Joy Boy, uh, Amod, oh, and uh, oh, Klaus. The best, and... the best, the best <laughs> players of all time, man. <laughs> Joy, Joy, Joy Boy is the goat. Joy Boy is the best OT player in human history. Followed shortly, <laughs> followed shortly by Cloud and then A mod. I mean A and O is not far far behind. That almost said like it's a Omar tra- uh, ninety two now. <laughs> yeah, that is true. He's up there now. Look, all right. Question: People always questioned if Robert was actually a modder. Was Robert a modder? Uh, I can't say for sure. Okay, that all right. At, that's the answer. It, it, Sometimes when I played against him, it felt uh, fine. And sometimes he got wired point jumps. It, you, think, you can't explain that. It, sometimes. I think the, the main reason why people thought he was a modder was during the, the Luffy Kata blitz. Yeah. Where he was like rank one on one side and had passed trunks. And then he yeah. was also I like mean, top five on the other side too. If you go for it, it's possible, yeah. I was going to say, like, do you think that's actually possible just to do like rank one on both sides? Yeah. Okay, uh, if, it? Uh, Ray, I think Ray said it, that uh, Robert is even crazier than Razor was. Jesus. <laughs> like, uh, he, a... he, st- he stays up for 48 hours or something. What doesn't give heck? a shit or something. <laughs> so like, we, we all accolade Razor as probably like 
the greatest or he's definitely like hall of fame like you know like to think that robert was potentially crazier than him is ridiculous um, to be honest i think uh robert shared with razor i think that was like the it's, consensus that's my that opinion i know i think i came to that consensus too i think i talked with trunks a bit as well and like i think that was the general consensus. i think even yeah. um i chatted with rye actually so i think out of all the people rye was maybe the closest or like new yep Raised the best, and I think um I think the consensus was there were probably times that they did share. I mean, yeah. I mean, isn't that what we figured out with Aino though that they were sharing? Or um, it's not confirmed. <laughs> nah, I uh, I made an Excel sheet now. Yes, uh, where I can see uh, the sleep times and he's got the stats. The sleep he... time. What? He yeah. has the this sleep. man's under your bed. He is <laughs> bro, lay, lays in your bro. That's why Joba isn't in the closet tonight. Okay, so is in the closet, man. Send, uh, copy some screenshots so you can flash them up on the. Yeah, send me through those things, man. I must. I want if you if you're comfortable sending through those Excel sheets. I want to like show on the screen. Yeah. Like, so, like, so like you plan out like oh he stopped grinding here so this is when he quote unquote when he goes, goes to, to bed sleep. how yeah. long he goes to bed. Bro, he knew. Bro, he knew every. That's scary, That's wild, dude. dude. What uh, the heck? <laughs> let's see. Oh, he has a secret agent. Yeah. He, oh, he, he went was. live. I'm not recording. Yeah. But... Oh, hang on. Bro, I want yeah, to see you can this. See... I want to see this. You, you can I'll... see the sleep times from uh, me and from Robert. Holy shit. Oh, my Bro, God. Right. Right. I, will, I, will, I will get us. I will get later to send me this stuff. I hope this hasn't messed up the audio. I don't think it has. But I will get I will get later to send me this stuff, and I will post a screenshot on the screen because <laughs> this is actually insane like you can see uh, Muki, uh, mukivara played for 48 hours straight <laughs> holy <laughs> shit heck? bro this is oh my god insane. this is what it takes to be the best this is what it <laughs> That's what look at, bro look at those flat lines <laughs> look at those flat <laughs> lay oh slept farm slept but look at the consistency yeah. of look at lay's consistency of yeah, progress like the, like, the whole thing's like a consistent <laughs> pattern Holy shit, this dude. This is bizarre, dude. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, oh my you god. can see uh, even Reza slept here. Oh my god. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. That's how, how it looks. Uh, <laughs> all oh. the screenshots here. <laughs> all right, I, will, I will get a screenshot. I will get, um, I will get Lady send me those and wow. I will pop up a screenshot because <laughs> like it is something special. This it's is genuine. a little data analysis. It, it genuine. The, Joba did this for his for his masters. Yeah, why well, even lose school? Just that's like, <laughs> yeah, like, like could have given Joba his masters degree. You know what I mean? Like, this Thanks. is bonkers. That that was incredible. <laughs> that was I've never in my life would like. <laughs> that's what it takes, though. Genuinely, that's what it took to be the best. Like. In the grand scheme of things, you had to know when your opponent was sleeping. <laughs> to, to when, yeah. When you knew how to farm. And it, it makes a lot of sense now. That's why this man was a freak of the bro. You know what? Mad respect, man. Honest to God, like there's a lot of respect. And I think a lot of shag got thrown your name, especially by a lot of people. And I think that they don't understand that like there's a lot of respect that goes into into farming like that though like for real it it takes an insane human being to <laughs> to do something like that so it, a lot of respect i think from me and i think from everyone here in this call right now like dude, i've got mad respect for like how he'd be going for first and yet he'd be helping me and surely heaps of other people make teams and like he's really posting memes advice. you know he didn't give a shit he'd yeah, chop exactly. it up with the he's boys chatting, he's chatting in discords and stuff like he's he's being an active part of the community as well as like kicking ass in treasure map Hundred percent, and that's mad respect, man. I have a question: Like, who is oh. your favorite One Piece girl? Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not Carrot. Oh, 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 I don't even want to. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I think I would say Robin. Uh, Let's go, oh, Lay is a cultured uh, man. Did, did I mention that Lay is my favorite human being? <laughs> <laughs> Lay is. Sure. Laser cultured human being. There you go. All right. Exactly. Any other questions from the floor before we just start pumping through these viewer questions? I'm um, good. <laughs> think. Think. All uh, good. What's the uh, uh, What's the hardest you've ever gone at once for a legend? 
And what's the most for, multiple um, you've done? During uh, Cheap Gems for Latin Judge, where it took like 117 <laughs> multiple. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> I mean, all right. Dis- disclaimer, multi? cheap gems, yeah. but like, but like, a hundred and seventeen multis. Uh, uh, on release, um, Rai, El Cadillo, and me took uh, like uh, three hundred multis or something, and only oh. Eli got it. <laughs> I still remember the time. To- I still remember that Rai stream where he was streaming the multis or something like that, <laughs> and then then like he found out that Judge was going to be guaranteed in the latest Sega Fest. That was the yeah. funniest thing. That poor, <laughs> yeah, that poor guy. That his soul just escaped his body. Like he had done so many multis of a judge, and then judges is gonna be guaranteed later on down the line. My God, that's a lot, <laughs> dude. And as uh, the forty-six for Kata V two. See, I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna put, it, I'm gonna put something out there. I gotta respect Lay because Lay never told me how many he did until, like, uh, he until I had. I had stopped pulling because when Lay, I remember when Lay told me he did like 10 more and I did 10 more. So like, and Lay <laughs> didn't tell me at all. And then after we, like the sugar was over, he was like, yeah, I did 46. And I was like, you bitch. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, oh my, he, he, pr- he protected me. That's, you got to respect yeah. me, man. You got to respect it, bro. All right. Let's get into some viewer questions. So we have a few things from Discord. All right. Game Freak asked you, how much time did you spend on the clown montage of A&O? Oh. If, you, if you guys haven't seen that video, I oh will. My God. I, if I remember, I'll put it into the description. It might be the best OPTC video we've ever had witness to of all time. But how much time did it take you to make uh, that video? I think something like eight hours or something. Oh, my God. I, I, I usually don't uh, edit su- uh, stuff, uh, so, so I had to uh, look it up and got comfortable with it. Uh, it was, yeah, it was. It was, it was worth it. It was so that whole video was just fantastic from start to end. <laughs> that was a great video. Um, question from Rai. It's not a question. He just says, "Tell Lay I love him." Feels oh. much, man. That's wholesome. That's wholesome. That's wholesome. I, I love him Lay. too. I love and his then... sexy voice. <laughs> <laughs> I, do. I, do I actually do too. Okay, Joe makes it sound weird, man. Oh, come on. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just trying to be part of the game. You are part of the game. That's why you're still, you're, you're, you're still here, man. So that's why, that's why it's, here. Yeah, it's, it's just because I paid you. <laughs> no, I, paid you to, I paid you to fuck off, but you still stayed for some reason. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> um, another question comes from Seven Days via Twitter. It's not even a question again. It just says, send him a kiss from me. So <laughs> Seven Days, I'm set. Shout out to I'm set, though. He's back making content. Hey, he's fantastic, back. Fantastic yeah, work he game. does, though. So go subscribe to him. Ooh. So I he, didn't know he's back. He is back, and his content is still just as high quality as ever, though. So, like, it's very commendable on his behalf. Yeah, um, considering what he went through, bloody hell! I know. Um, I mean, he isn't on Discord, no. I don't think he's still in the Dynasty chat. I don't think he, so. He, he's never. He's not active, but he is in there. So I yeah, might need to message him there. at some point because I know his Twitter. He blocked DMs. I can't slide in. <laughs> it was bad. Man. Um, we might have he answered it. So Straw Hat Wolfie from Discord said, did you have any pregame plans for how you're going to tackle rank one? Like how you were big on efficiency and speed, but just curious on what was going through like your head when it came to preparing for a long grind. So like, okay, yeah. Yeah. yeah, I had to prepare uh, stuff at work. Yeah. I, I have a dispatcher that gives me work orders for the next 14 days, let's say. And uh, I can choose when I do that. So oh I had a bit over time. <laughs> And did it uh, oh before the mode, so I can wow. go at work and play. <laughs> oh my. And uh, but I didn't close the work orders in our system, so nobody so it, knew it, it, that yeah, I so already finished work. it. <laughs> that is so smart, dude. <laughs> that's how I keep. Playing. That's that's how committed. That's bro. You like no one can compete. No one can compare. <laughs> Show how Wolfie man, you got your answer, bro. Just get <laughs> get your dispatches for 14 days prior, work overtime, finish them, but don't submit them, and then just play TM. It's not that hard. Hey, that's, that's work hard, play hard, man. That's how you hey, hey, bro. That's that's it. Work hard, play hard, baby. That's, uh, and that's gonna be the title of the, uh, this one. Right. And actually, I think it might be bro. Work I think it might have to be. That's good. It is though. And, um, and uh, two uh 
three days for uh, before TM, I started uh, making teams, and um, I brainstormed with Edna uh, about uh, faster teams or what's uh, f more efficient. And uh, yeah, then my Edna was Edna was really up. the master Roshi, bro. It, 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 bro, he was always there. He was nah, the, he was the Kakashi like, to the Naruto <laughs> man. Like it, he was he was omnipotent, bro. Shout out Edna again, man. Like that guy is actually one of the smartest minds when it comes to team building, bro. For real. Yeah. He's for incredible. example, if I've uh, put in X unit and he said, ah, that doesn't w won't work because of that, or um. He threw a, threw a unit in there, and I said that won't work. It was a give and take. Mm. So like, it was a lot of like back and forth when it came to team building. With yeah, Edna, which it, it like, was a team effort. Yeah. So Edna gets credited with being one of the greatest of all like, time. Just at one point, by... he came up with a double uh, rare gear with left him. Oh my god! For what? <laughs> Is this for Tio? So yeah, yeah, just to to clear like the uh, treasure mode, Edna. <laughs> Jesus, double rare recruit. Oh my god! I, I, I wouldn't ever think of uh, that unit to use. Yeah, as Captain well, I mean, Fox. I don't think. I think the only thing people associate with now is the support. But even before then, no one would as associate him with. Yeah, exactly. Anything like that, so it, of, commend, what, very uh, commendable. First, Kisuna, that um, zombie captain, uh, Prilly, with uh, special at extra trap time damage or something for stage two. If, uh, if you remember, she yeah, cuts uh, the HP by 15% or something each yeah. round, similar to Magellan or Brook. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just to make uh, stage two easier. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. You gotta, have, you, gotta, you gotta have the homies support. You can't be doing rank one by yourself, yeah. man. You gotta have people around you, bro, for real. It's, yeah, it's you can't true. even do top like fucking 50 without your, your homie support. It is true, bro. <laughs> no. Nah. Even and, just uh, encouraging honorable alone, mention man. towards my girlfriend, which uh, made Shout me out food and stuff man. during the uh, grind. The I had real to do goat. nothing during it, yeah. The real <laughs> I'm just goat sitting right there, there, walking around, playing Treasure Cruise all the time. <laughs> That's the real goat right there. That's the real number one winner. <laughs> the girlfriend. Lay's girl. Shout out. Yeah, Shout the that out. winner as soon as he retired. Yeah, she, <laughs> she retired. She's like, thank How fuck. happy was she when he retired? Um, she didn't even notice the first one. <laughs> oh she, she didn't care, dude. Yeah. She was like, "Well, yeah. that's how efficient Lee is with his, uh, you know, being a part." Lee, Lee actually kept no up. Work, he, he kept up working overtime and not submitting his work just for fun. <laughs> just, that's sick. Oh my god! Well, there you go. You you got you got your answer, Straw Hat, right there, dude. You <laughs> work hard, play hard. That's literally all it comes down to. Um. Mattia Forsten asks, "What were your thoughts? Uh, what were sorry? What were your toughest battles for first spot? Like, would you recall any of the hardest battles that you faced when it came uh, to coming second through? blitz battle, the race against Racer, where I passed him and got like a gap of twenty runs or something, and he came back uh, from a break or something, and, <laughs> and he like, was behind me like sleeping. bloodhound." <laughs> <laughs> There you go. You know, that was so like you know that was the era of like gods and giants, man. You got Razor and Lay battling it out for Blitz, man. No one else is competing. Is you you're playing for third at best at that point, you know. All right. Uh, at Djax via Twitter asks, "What unit did you get really excited for when you pulled them? Legend <laughs> or rare recruit or whatever else?" After doing forty C out of forty five multis for Barton and Cavendish, this fucker. I got it from a <laughs> random rat on the following blitz battle. Oh, oh no! <laughs> that's a, that's a the face. That's like yeah. that's like you do with uh, Lucy. Lucy. Oh, <laughs> fucking! Yeah, that, I, was a, that was the second but, blitz battle uh, right on. What was it? Second Annie or third Annie? It was the no, third it, was a, it was third blitz battle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'm like, I've I've spent so I did all the multis on part one. Uh, then I I kept I went I think I went another. Seven or eight multis deep after that, and then part two, all of literally the rest of my gems didn't pull them. I said, "Fuck this shit! I'm not touching it ever again." Um, <laughs> that's Sugo. That is. Anyway, I um farm the blitz battle using a fucking uh, blue cheat team. Blitz battle ends. Uh, Luch uh, Lucy was the best thing to have for that um, blitz, 
And from the rewards, I get him off my second ticket. <laughs> hey, bro, sometimes it do be like that, man. Yeah, that was Nami for me. It was right after Annie. I think I did like I did 34 multis and did it. And then I I got her from a random from a three million ticket in TM right after. Crazy. Feels bad. It feels it good. Did be it like feels that. bad. <laughs> So we did answer uh, Jesse Roberts' uh, question about his favorite era. Yeah, way to go, Todd. Um, <laughs> <it's> Todd. <laughs> yeah. um, okay. Apologies. <laughs> so, hey, it, st- questions still got answered, as doesn't matter, man. That's <laughs> you get a sh- and you get a shout out. That's true. Shout out uh, to that guy. At your spy bear via Twitter asks, any tips for rush hour and TM when you don't have enough time? Any tips when... Le- when you don't have enough time in TM, yeah, what, like what do you do? La- the last hour left. or la- last The last hour. hour. Um, if it's an invasion, kill the invasion boss. Go to either go to the um, boss battle, kill one uh, boss and, and crit and rinse and repeat. Or if it's a non-invasion, yeah. You just have <laughs> you to have play to it. You have to grind it through. Well, there you go, guys. If you need points quick in the last, like, you know, last couple of hours or last hour, just verse the invasion. And then beat a boss, quit the quit the sea, and then and repeat it. In the the last few minutes, you can join, do the invasion boss, quit, yep. Yep. refill, and refill do it again. If you beat. really really want that spot, there you go. You, got, you work hard, play hard, man. It's really <laughs> all it comes down to, dude, for sure. Um, uh, let leopard can I can never say it. it's Vin Smoke. We all know Vinsmoke. it's, it's Vin Smoke. Yeah. <laughs> uh, can we get an in-depth look on how playing TM normally and how playing it to get first place differs? Changing characters for uh, shorter speed animations, optimizing teams at high nav levels, faster ways to clear stages. Mm-hmm. So how does it, how how does like uh, how do, how's it different from playing TM like to rank one and then playing TM regularly? Yeah, just a casual. <laughs> uh... In terms of speed, uh, you yes. want to cut it down, hit cre- uh, good in crates. Don't run a low multiplier captain to do that good in crate stuff. Um, don't stall for specials. This is the most important thing. Um, mm-hmm. Sounds about right. Oh, and, don't and you- sacrifice speed for points, and especially on map bosses. It doesn't, it's not worth it. The ultimate best way, though, is to just do more pulls. Just pull more. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <Is that it? laughs> just you get know, the point of his, his forehead. Just, just get money, man. <laughs> You're broke. <laughs> All right, final question. We can't answer it again, but that's fine. Flip Nos- Noske, he, uh, via Twitter, he asked, how is it not playing TM anymore? What do you do with your free time? And do you have the urge to kick some ass in TM again and show everyone that you're the best? Yeah, it feels great. It feels <laughs> I can enjoy great. other games again uh, before it was One Piece and something others, but most of it was One Piece, no? Yeah. And do, you, do you feel the urge to play, like, to, to come first again just to show people what's what, up? What do you what? mean? I got uh, two rank one spare in the last three TMs or four? <laughs> yeah, but, like, oh, you, yeah. Have the, you have the urge, like, what so, do you mean? so if people are saying, like, yeah. oh, um, Oh, he was only good because of this. If he came back now, he couldn't do it. Do you have the urge? Just like, um, if I came back right now, I'd still kick everyone's ass. I'd still win. Like, do you think like, do you do have you the, uh, prove a point? do you think like you could like prove someone wrong? Like say, like, I can, I can still win no matter what. I mean, he yeah, has the course. game first place right now. That's just, the fact that he said, yeah, of course, with the confidence just means it's, that. Well, you know, uh, if it's a modder that plays enough, uh, like I do, I don't stand the chance. Yeah. But what can I do? <laughs> That's it. All right, guys. I, I want to give it. a special big, big shout out to Lay. I have been harassing this poor man for quite some time <laughs> just to organize this episode. And I'm honestly so happy that we were able to record this. I think even yeah. that last like five minutes alone of that information about TM, people needed to really listen right there. Everything else doesn't matter. But <laughs> if you the, really. After this podcast, Lay's just going to come, come up to you and go, okay, now uh, delete all my contact information. <laughs> yeah, Lay was yeah, going to block me. That's fine. I'll accept it. <laughs> but I think from me and then the rest of the cast from GGP, we are really, really grateful and thankful to have you. That It took your time out. You know, you woke up hella early for this. So we, mm-hmm. we, are thank, we are thankful to have you on the episode. So we really do appreciate it. Um, to everyone else in the cast, 
I'm sorry, I harassed you guys for <laughs> four or five weeks or so to organize the episode, but I think hey, it turned it out. Qu- I think it, it turned out quite well, and I think you know I, I'm going to upload this as its own video. Maybe we'll upload it tonight. Yeah, it's I don't like know. Two hours long. We'll, we'll see. You know, <laughs> um, but thank you guys for sticking by me and <laughs> dealing with all my harassment and, and planning and replanning everything of the sort. But we really wanted to make this app happen. We know Lay's probably the best global OPC player that's ever existed alongside the likes of Razor and, you know, other retired names as well. But um, please show some love. You know, Lay's Twitter is going to be down below. He doesn't tweet that much. He just retweets my dumb shit, so it's fine. <laughs> so, I'm looking for you. porn, not going to lie. Oh, right. <laughs> <laughs> Man. Yeah, you boys. <laughs> Thank you all for listening. That was it. That's the end of it. Cobb, Dill, Joba, Todd, Lay, we are signing out. My name is Captain Parby. Thank you all for listening to the exclusive interview with the best OBT player of all time. We'll catch you all next time. Peace. See you guys. Later, guys. Yeah. Goodbye.